<laughs> All right. Hi, chat. How are you today? I have decided to do some Sean Palmer. And I'm sure that will go very well without any problems. Um, <laughs> it's been a while, so that's kind of the plan. Is that I'm that's just the, what we're doing. Um, um, brain is brain is being slow today. I don't know why, but my brain isn't fully in it in it at the moment. But that's fine. I didn't prepare a, a I didn't prepare a image for this. Um, but I think that's just mainly because of the fact that I've kind of be started the habit of beginning stream, like, before I actually, um, beginning the stream and doing the process of, like, thumbnail design while I'm here. How does RNG manipulation work? Um, I don't think there is RNG in this game. I don't think it, that RNG really plays a part in Sean Palmer. I could be very wrong. That is, um, I said it last stream. Um, I don't think it was last, I don't think it's, I was talking about RNG. I was talking about, I th if I, uh, the, I, the only thing I can think of that you might be talking about would be, uh, based on, yeah, that's not RNG manipulation. That is, um, the special tricks you're generated. Because each, um, individual custom character. I'm not going to say randomly, but like procedurally based off of the name you give it, you give them, um, is given different special tricks. I don't know how much this really matters in the grand scheme of things, but some tricks are definitely better than others. Um, that's kind of the gist of things. Um, but needless to say, uh, not needless to say, but, um, for anyone who's not been following the Sean Palmer scene, uh, which um, would probably be everyone, to be fair, um, I have some catching up to do, <laughs> because my man, uh, my man Green Pirate Burb, uh, arrived on the scene, and in a matter of two weeks, not only beat my world record, but... Um, <laughs> Not only did he beat my world record, but he did so using largely his own strategies and um, did so by two f by like ten full minutes. So my work is cut out for me, chat. <laughs> um, that's what we're looking at today. Um, I am kind of... I kind of just hit the live button because I was just... I felt the anticipation of just like... Man, I don't know how to start this stream. I don't have, like, a thumbnail prepared. And I'm like, okay, well, since I'm feeling overwhelmed, what I'm going to do is that I'm literally just going to, um... <laughs> hey, for practicing animal abuse. <laughs> that is only in one stage. And there is no visible damage to them that occurs. They're fine. Um... But, um, I still don't have a good, um, I still don't have a good, like, thing. It's the take I practice the most. Only by proxy of the fact that it's kind of like the first, uh, that it's kind of the first area of the game that can be a run killer. But I think I've started to increase my consistency on that stage a bit. I'm not certain on it, but I feel like I have, I feel like... That track has sh slowly but surely started to become muscle memory. Because <laughs> I've been doing I've been doing a bit of practice off stream as well. Um, I'm gonna move chat down a little. Okay, cool, cool. And I'm gonna. I'm still moving things around, and I'm sorry, chat. I really didn't come prepared today. That's just. That's the nature of things. Um, where's Orin? Let's get her out from under there. Put her... To put her... I'll put her, like, over here in this corner. Actually, that's probably... No, that's where I get, like, notifs. 
She can, she can rest over here. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is all good. All right, now I need like an actual thumbnail, and I don't really have a plan for that. Um, I really don't. I could just reuse it. I could just reuse a uh, one of the different videos I took, because I'm pretty sure I still just have most of those on file, and I very well just could do that. Like, that's really just, like, random B-roll footage of just, like, <laughs> dumbassery at its finest. Just me dicking around in the game. Um. Or, you know what? I'll just, I'm overthinking it. It's a fucking speedrun. I don't need to put that much work into it. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab a screenshot of this, of this right here. All right. <laughs> Just gonna screen grab this. Cool, cool. Um. All right. And then what I can do is I can go to Tumblr. And you know what? I'm feeling fruity today. I'm gonna post on Blue Sky as well. I I actually, like, am at the point where I want to start caring about that platform. So I'm going to post it there as well. All right? Um, what, am I, what else am I, what do I want to do? Brain, please. What did I name the title? I'll just copy the name. Eh, no. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with my original idea for the title. <laughs> Um, <sighs> I kind of regret not naming the stream the way I was, the, but I made a, I made a last minute decision of instead of naming, uh, of naming the stream, the quest for nice maneuvers, cause I was, like, yeah, that's a nice, that's, that's a funny, just in-game dialogue thing. Instead of doing, instead of doing that, I almost named the stream, <laughs> she shone on my palm till I bored. <laughs> And I kind of wish I did. <laughs> I kind of really wish that I had done that. All right. And then we go to blue sky because I want to be thorough. You only one here to just rename it. I mean, I could do that, but like, I feel like there wouldn't be much reason to. Like, what does renaming like? It, the the vod's all it's already like the second you go live, the vod gets saved with that name. And if I do that now, I may uh. <laughs> If I do that now, then I miss out on the opportunity of, um, I miss out on the opportunity of having that name later, so. That, that, that's my thought process here. Is it a good one? I don't know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a lost child in a big man's world. Anyway, um, post's going out. <laughs> We're doing that now. Um. Live stream. Um. All right. That'll probably be the only post on Tumblr to ever use the tag Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarder, but I'm I'm sticking to it. All right, almost done. Just gotta do this, and then send out the actual the actual live notification, and we can start some runs. Um, I actually had a pretty good run 
uh, off stream that got me all the way to um, got me all the way to Mount Hood Meadows, but I floundered it because I couldn't do the helicopter skip, and um, it just ate up attempt after attempt until eventually it didn't go anywhere. Which is about what I expect from this game. It, the smallest thing can really fuck up your entire run. Stream alerts, we're doing that. Bang. Alright. <laughs> she shot on my palmer till I bored. That is such a... <laughs> Damn, I really wish I did name stream that. That would have been good. <laughs> I really... <laughs> It's too late now. I can't undo it. It is already archived as that. Um, is there any other... Um, <laughs> yay for double-guessing myself. True. Um, is there any other strats? There are a lot of other strats. Um, I was just talking about the helicopter skip, which is, I think, probably my favorite trick, even though I'm not good at it. Um... We'll see if I even get a run that far to talk about it, but basically, I guess I can start runs while I'm actually, uh, I'm actually doing things. I should put on some background music, because, um, brain, uh, because the silence is kind of deafening and a bit overwhelming, so, let's go, I mean, I, I, I always go, I always go with Mario Kart, um, <laughs> but, Kinda Mario Kart, uh, Mario Kart, especially the Mario Kart Tour soundtrack, which is just kind of like cohesively every Mario Kart. I'll just go with that. Um, I wish that I had like a way to crop the uh the name off of it. Um, this is only eighty songs. That's not correct. Um, there should be a lot more than that. I will find a playlist that has more than that, the correct amount. We'll get there. We're almost there. I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> um, you know what? Eh, no, I can. I, 107 is 107 videos is enough for me. Um, actually, the I will just go with it. I'm overthinking it. I'm overthinking it. You know, I'm overthinking it. I know I'm overthinking it. Let's let's just fucking let's fucking just put on some music and do the do the run. That's the thing. All right. This is a completely different remix of Snowland that I've never heard before, but. Um, probably pretty fitting t uh, song for for Donners because this track is pretty much all but completely muscle memory. Like I've done Donners so many times that I could basically do it with my eyes closed, and it is by far the easiest area in the game. Is the audio balancing good? Oh wait, you can't hear the you cannot hear the music. I'm gonna see if I can one hand change this real quick. All right, there's that. All right, that's all good. All right, normal things going on here. You jump scared yourself with turning up the volume to check. Oh, I'm sorry. I do not have a lot of score right now, and I'm gonna work to change that. I'm way under proje projections for where I should be score-wise, but that should be pretty easy to change. Just like that, we're back in business. All right, and then lastly, in terms of restarting, all we have to do is just get this grind, and we're good to restart. 
All right, and we are good to start the speed the speed round, which is just this. Hit the all the hit all the slow signs and get this, and uh, grind a car, go inside of a garage. That's all we have to do to 100% this area, and then we will have access to the next, the one that the one the infamous, um, the morally not okay probably. Um, Kirkwood, in which you must bonk. <laughs> just com just commit atrocities against random forestry animals. That is the <laughs> that is the expectation of Kirkwood. <laughs> Early two thousand games in a nutshell. Just kind of doing stuff for the heck of it. <laughs> Alright. Final slow sign is over here. If it were possible, I would honestly like prefer if this level wasn't even in the run. Just because it is such a slog to get through. Then after this, the difficulty get just goes up so much. But that's fine. We're just doing our thing. Alright. Let's so always put everything directly into speed right away. Mario. What? Music is still low. I can change that. I wanted to balance it. That's probably a lot louder. I'm gonna turn that down a lot more. Hopefully he's not like overpowering me. Um, I don't know what you mean by Mario cut, Mario Sunshine cutscene. Do you mean like the shine get? Better now. All right, cool. No six score right out, right out the gate. That's fine. Man, that was a nice dismount. The first cutscene is skipped. Um, there was—I mean, there wasn't a cutscene because I just hit reset. As soon as you get a goal, it is immediately saved, and that's why um, getting to the finish line is one of the uh, is one of the goals on every single track in the game, and. Um, as a result, in order to save time, it is best to always save it as the last thing you do in any level. Because it by default always takes you back to the menu, which is a time loss. Not the best. Okay. Not great. Um that's fine. A small, a small barrier that will not heed my progress too, too much. All right, just go after this one. Grind this. Oh man, I hate when I crash there. I can still technically do this, but it's not looking as great as it was before. Alright, so we can get that. At this point, I think we're completely scrapping the, uh, the, animal, the animal mission because I am just not in the best position to get that one. In order to reduce the pressure a little bit, I would like to get the haze hop done and out of the way first. So in order to do that, I am going to take a few extra seconds to, I mean a few, it's more like 20, but like, it'll pay off in the long run, because I just would prefer to get this run off the ground.
All right, and now we can reset. All right. Now we have the animal bonks and... I'm gonna double check, actually. Yes, animal bonks and time speed. All right. All right. Um, am I gonna snag Wonder and re-RPG? Um, I'm definitely gonna play Wonder. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna play RP if I'm gonna play RPG, because even though I've always heard so much praise for it, I have tried to watch a lot of Let's Plays of Mario RPG, but I have found that the game just doesn't hold my attention, and I feel like that's I don't know why. I don't think it has anything to do with I don't know what it is. It just doesn't scratch my itch for some reason, and it's definitely like a good game, and I can tell that just by just by watching it. But it just doesn't, like, it doesn't, um, what's a good, what's a good word for it? Um, it doesn't, like, visually engage me? It's more than visual, though. Um, it's, it doesn't keep my focus for some reason. I don't know what it is. The style just doesn't do that for me. It is a lot less active, yeah. Because this this effect still is the same. It, this, this effect is still very much the same thing with Paper Mario 64 as well. I think, but, but I think the difference is I'm pretty confident that Paper Mario 64 would keep my attention if I were to actually play it. But most of what I've ex been exposed to of 64 has been, again, watching other people's Let's Plays. Um, you couldn't get into it until I did my glitch playthrough, which is probably uh, not re retained. Makes sense. <laughs> Baby's playing it. I don't know if she'll continue. Man, it's always the worst when you watch when you watch a VTuber. They start a game and they don't ever finish it. It's very hilarious that I, of all people, am saying that, considering the fate that befell my Klonoa playthrough. And probably a few others, but I was watching Pomu play Cadence of Hyrule, and it seemed like she was enjoying it, but she just has not continued it. Oh my god. Uh, that's not great. And I really hope that Pomu does eventually get back to it, because I love, I love when, I love when VTubers play anything Necrodancer, um, Necrodancer related. Necrodancer is pretty much my favorite game of all time, and even though I don't give it that same respect by playing it as obsessively as I do other games, I think from a conceptual standpoint, Necrodancer is just inherently my favorite game. Something about Danny B's just really incredible soundtrack, just... It, do, it goes a long way for me. And I'm surprised I haven't actually done one of these streams with, uh, with Necrodancer music in the background more often. Um, Alicia, Necrodancer stream, um, did you? I don't remember watching that one. I also don't think I, like, I don't recognize that YouTube, that YouTuber by name. Also, this is not gonna be great. This is already just kind of going on a pretty slow overall pace. I think that in order to really save this, I need to go for the risk strat. And it did pay off. It definitely did pay off. That's my first coffee stand. Yikes. I don't have the best feelings about this. She's a game dev now? Hmm. I still don't think I ever watch any of her streams, even though you seem to to have recalled having showed me her Necrodancer, so... She beat her run, uh, blind when he, when he, uh, when he hadn't. 
Uh, wait, for Necrodancer? If so, that is incredibly impressive. This Aspen's not going to be as big of a deal as I was originally making it out to be. Or at least, not yet anyway. It has the potential to be much worse. I just have to get this last copy stand here. Alright, and now I'm pretty sure... Mixing up Ray and Ellie. Um, I'd be surprised if it was if it were Ellie, because Ellie's always been pretty much the best Necrodancer player I, I know. I know. I, uh, I know personally that I'm like that like that I'm conversational with. I almost didn't make that. Not the most elegant of dismounts, but, you know, it'll do. No shit. Oh, you know what? That's why I'm so red. I'm comparing against my best splits. I'm literally doing just fine. It's not going to be world record pace, but, like, it's literally fine. And I'm gonna keep it that way because I think that I mean the last PB I got was uh, was comparing to my um, my best splits, so clearly something about that is right. I never learn from my mistake. I always do this. I always do that exact mistake. I don't know why this always happens, but it happens. Um, overall, that was a pretty decent enough Aspen. Assuming I actually did get everything. I always am. Sometimes I am very, um, I'm like very paranoid about whether I, what I thought I did was actually what I did. Alright. Uh, also, speaking of YouTubers dropping games, I don't know if I showed you, um, Devious Sprite, but we got her to play Pizza Tower and she enjoyed it. I have not heard of Devious Sprite. What does uh what does she get up to? She's a big Resident Evil fan? I see, yeah. That will certainly do it. Sometimes your attention is just stolen away by something. I should know. I spent fucking four hours I spent fucking like eight hours on F Zero in one day. This is a really good G uh, Yoshi Desert remix. I love this. I have never heard this before because Yoshi Desert was added to tour after I after I played it. I don't know why I'm doing why I'm bothering to do all of this because I literally forgot that the uh, that Heavenly is like the one uh, stage in the game where it's like actually fairly decent. Um, what am I trying to say? She started doing ASMR too, same week that I did, huh? I hope that goes well for her. Alright. And that's the cranes. That's just kind of the setup phase. You could definitely do the cranes with everything else. But ever since I saw Bird, um, current world record holder Bird, um, just do, uh, do the cranes and then immediately reset, I have really come to realize just how much better that is for, uh, for safety strategies because by doing that you are giving yourself such a degree of leeway in terms of um, mistakes that you can make and otherwise if you mess that if you mess if you commit to trying to do all of it then you are actually going to um, end up in a very not great place um I can be more verbose than that, probably. <laughs> but it won't go well is what I'm trying to say. I know! Like, I... For real, I talked about this during my F-Zero stream. But, um... From what I can tell... I'm, Bird is just... 
an, a really impressive player. Because not only did he adapt most of what my route has, there's a lot of things that Bird came up with entirely on their own. And they've taught me a, some, uh, uh, they've taught me a lot of stuff about this game. Like, the fact that they can just waltz onto the scene and discover so much on their own, even though they use the stuff that I set out as like a guideline, um, it's still just blatantly like incredible. Anyway, um, this is on pace to be my fastest heavenly ever. We'll see if I can keep that up. Um, cause this is, I think the first time I've ever actually gotten to this part and then not had to redo anything. So what that means is that I can just do, uh, escape from the idol and then immediately, um, <laughs> and then immediately go for speed. Like I don't have to, um, like, I don't have to do that entire mission during my uh, during my initial phase. Like this is just working out, and this is what I mean by the fact by the fact that I've been like practicing and that I think that I've gotten a lot better in this game. Um, I've done a lot of practice runs off stream, and I genuinely f feel like uh, my consistency um, with the motivation of beating Bird's uh, world record, I think it has genuinely gotten a lot better. Even though I still haven't gotten a PB yet. I thought that was going to be a much sloppier landing than it was, but that all worked out. And I can just go straight for the finish line, too. I don't need to do anything else. Like, I am in the clear. Also, this is a very fitting music for this area. Very nice. Gold split. Love that. I've never gotten just a heavenly where everything just works out that well. That's nice. That's real nice. Alright, um... Up my landing to the maximum, because... Landing really has a lot of ability to kill runs. Oh my god! The fact that Mario Kart got four new characters is kind of crazy. I posted about on Blue Sky, mainly because I didn't really think it that it was the kind of post that fits on Tumblr. I was gonna translate it to Tumblr later, but then um, after I finished my schoolwork, um, I just was really tired, and so I like um, I like laid down for a bit, and I never actually went and translated the, the post on there as well. But um, by translate, I mean like basically just reposting it, like, with screenshots repurposed. But, the, all of this to say that, um, announcing, ooh, that wasn't great. That's too bad. Uh, it's not gonna kill, it's not gonna be, like, worth resetting, though, because I can still go that direction and get where I need to go. Um... Brain, brain, where were you at? Brain, don't do this now. Um, obviously, like, on the roster for Mario Kart, we only saw that there was supposedly two characters left. And then they just fucking had four. Like, that wasn't what you promised us. What the hell is this? You can't do this now. You bre you're breaking the rules. And so now, because of that, I'm, like, trying to... F I'm, like, scrambling to figure out what does this mean. Um, and that either means that we have, like, four more characters on the way, or it either means that, that the roster is going to lose any bit of organization that it had before, or, um, ah, oh, dang. It's a shame that, that that crashed. Um, or that the roster is going to change shape completely. The worst case scenario is that the roster loses 
any sort of organization that it has. Because that would make me sad. And it also would mean that I got my hopes up for nothing. That's a reset. I'm sad. I mean, Flame Runner's not in, in Nate Deluxe. And that's kind of one reason why, for a while, I wasn't even, like, wanting Funky Kong in the game that much. But since he's here, like, I'm happy he's here. But he wasn't, like, this super huge, like, heavy request that um, mo I think he is for most Wii players. Because I feel like a large um, point of charm for, Don for Funky Kong is that he is, like, the icon of Mario Kart Wii. And that's kind of similar to how I felt with him being added to tour back when that happened. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm um, forgetting the new ru the, the new lines I set out for myself. Um. Fuck it. We're just gonna go for it. Talking is difficult, especially when I'm on probably the biggest run killer in the game. All right, well that worked out. Okay. My biggest goal with this goddamn snowmobile is that I want to finish it off before I get to the warp point. That's the thing that's most difficult here. That's probably most defining of the pace here. All right. Now that I'm not focusing on the combo as much, I can get up here. Alright, this time let's maybe not miss the snowman. Even though I am, like, really going a lot more crazy with this combo than I need to. I mean, I ultimately do need 500,000 points. Like, that's not going to change regardless of the circumstance, but, like... Alright. As long as I get this, we're fine. Alright. Alright, land that. God dang it! That's another difficulty. But now that I'm here, I'm not gonna start a new combo until I get this guy. Alright. Get clotheslined. Alright, that's not the plan. Okay, can I make this work? Yes, I can. Alright. I'm probably not going to be able to get this even sponsor. I have not been on pace for that. I would rather end this combo, I'll be honest. I ended the combo. I have one minute to get 100,000 points. And a lot of collectibles, so... Not sure how I feel about this for the most part. need one hell of a combo. Okay, I got it. Alright, and... Secret Sponsor and Trams, I can pair those two. That shouldn't be too bad. This isn't shaping up to be a terrible snowbird, but I probably shouldn't speak too soon because the trams is probably, notably, the second most finicky thing in the game. Or I say the trams, but it's really just the second tram because this one, it's easy. You grind this, you get up here, you jump to the left, and you tap it. It's that easy. The second one, however, is just this really awkward jump. I have a, an alignment for it, but it doesn't always work. So you come down to like a complete stop here, jump midway through. Well, it worked this time, so we're vibing. And it has to be at like at that exact speed too. I am just realizing it's the funniest thing. 
I'm just remembering that you really can't pair the secret sponsor with the with the speed challenge. It's the funniest thing. Um, I'm gonna try anyway. Um, I how much time do I have? I have 20 seconds. I am just gonna cash out and then go down, go back down and do it a second time. In a more ideal world, I probably could have made that work, but I'd rather not risk it. I'd rather just take the speed that I have now, carry it to the line, and call it good. That actually isn't the split. I need to... Is it this subtract? It is that subtract. Alright, cool. Losing three minutes to Snowbird is nothing to be ashamed of. This track is fucking hell. Um... I have to go back in one more time. I'm so you are the first person I have ever heard say anything good. Actually, that's not true. Lennox, uh, Twitter artist I follow, you probably know them. Uh, Lennox has said the good things about Pichette. But almost every single other person that I know has the most insane hate boner for Pichette. And like, you'd think that I would probably feel the same given the horny that she caused. But like, I'm just very neutral on her. Like, all right, weird, but okay. Sure, why not? Um, I don't know who Peachette's supposed to be for. Cause I don't even think Peachette succeeds in, um, in appealing to that like, to that like fandom horny audience but that might just be me i feel like that she doesn't really do that because like it's that's not what the design that people fell in love with people fell in love with the super horn and how it pertain and how it in fanon can be applied to bowser or other mario enemies toadette seemingly gets absolutely none of that particular attention that might just be me though and so if Toadette has, if uh, Peachette has their fans, then good for them. I just don't, I just don't see that them very often, so it's a baffling decision in my head. I didn't mean to do it like that. I meant to end run. Uh, anyway, now I can split. Not the best, but like, hey, um, five minutes to Snowbird is not the worst thing that has ever happened. I'll live with it. I'm only gonna consider the run dead if I end up with plus ten. Easy mode. I mean, yes, people love Toadette as is, but then you take out. So then you take Toadette, and you take out the Toadette, and then you make her Peach, and it's like, huh? You lot, you lose me there. Like, you take out everything that makes Toadette Toadette, and then you just, she's just taking the form of Peach, and it's like, okay, but why though? And like in Mario Kart in particular, it's not like she's an easy mode for Mario Kart. Like in Mario Kart, the characters there are pretty much entirely for their appeal as characters, or so I would think. But that's not what we get. I mean... Perhaps it is what we get, but I just, like, I don't get it, you know? I don't see people bitching about it, I just see people confused about it, you know? Like, in a similar boat to me. I don't think there's that many people who are pissed off about it, it's just like... Her? And, like, her, her being the last addition to the booster pass is also, like... Extra weird on that layer, you know? Like, you have three absolute bangers of picks, with Diddy Kong, who really should have been in the game from the start, and I'm glad that they did amend that and let and let the boy back in. But then you have fan favorite Funky Kong and Pauline, who's um, who's basically a main member of the cast at this point, but only didn't get in because she wasn't at the time Mario Kart 8 originally released. 
so it's like, I don't know. That was almost bad. I mean, it, wasn't, it wouldn't have been bad, but it, it wouldn't have been good either, because you can do secret sponsor in this speed round. There are a lot of other things that you cannot do in this speed round. Okay, I have six score. God dang. I am kind of on a roll with this here. This is looking to be on pace to be my fastest Squaw Valley ever. Um, which is kind of crazy. I don't know when I suddenly got good at this level, but I am not complaining. Ooh, I thought I was gonna crash there. What the hell? 800,000 points? How do, what, Who am I? Am I gonna fucking score 1 million points on on Palisades just to flex? Because that's the, that's the trajectory this is looking to go. Hell, I think I can literally possibly just do this, uh, do this while I'm here. Like, I'm already going down again. Like, fuck it. The only thing I have left down here is the last light, so I can just go for it. And if I don't get it, then I can always get it on the way back. Alright, and that's everything except speed. My god. Um, who am I? <laughs> Not a single mistake in Palisades? It's actually Palisade, but uh, my split name has gaslit me. Sometimes I just unlock? I guess so. I really don't need this entire combo. I'm going way overboard than I need to. Like, I got half of what would be six score in one combo. I did not need to do all of that, but I did anyway, just on the, just on a whim. Fuck it. Uh, here you go, I guess. Um. Oh no, the playlist stopped. This is gonna be an awkward like minute or two. Uh oh. All right. Ooh, that was a nice little burst of speed I got there. Ah, I lost the special meter. There goes the slight speed uh, buff that it gives you, or at least that I think it gives you. I don't, I've never actually tested if that is actually a real thing, but look at that gold split. That is incredible. Accurate feeling to how I feel with this run. Um, no, don't save. Oh, I got menued. I got menued. No. All right. Oh, no. It took me out of the playlist. I was just trying to go to the F. All right. Let's reshuffle. That is not in the playlist, sir. Okay, just click something random. We're back on we're back on GBA Peach Circuit. That's good enough for me. Did I get the time I wanted? Not yet. The worst is yet to come. I have lost many a run to Mount Hood Meadows, and Gotcha Glacier can be difficult too, I guess. Why is Pepsi here? Where do you see Pepsi? Uh oh. Uh, I guess I'm going for this now. All right. Um, I accidentally set myself up to do the normal method instead of helicopter skip. So I guess this runs, I mean, 
If I mess up badly enough, then there'll be plenty of time to practice helicopter skip. But I've accidentally, like, found a line that gives me the helicopter. That wasn't the plan, but I'll take it. Let's put that down. All right. And I made the grind? What the hell? Okay. I made the grind, but I somehow... Oh no, that didn't work out very well. That's fine though. Ah, dicks! It looks like there's a logo in the last stage. Um, stage of load, blowing circles. Oh, that's that's the uh, that's just the logo for the ski area. Um, it resembles Pepsi, but it's. But like, it's like, uh, I think it might, I think it's actually like official brand, uh, advertising for the ski area. Even though the helicopter's in place, I'm still gonna go for the helicopter skip anyway. And I missed it. Because, like, I mean, I have to go for the helicopter skip just because of the fact that I'm already going out of my way for that logo, so... It makes sense. Because it does work out to being a little faster if I can double up. That's the other benefit of the helicopter skip, is that there's always... You can always go for it completely risk-free the first attempt. Oh, no, I didn't get the grind. That's not great. But it's not terrible either. I should really be using as much of this section as possible just to build score, and I'm really not doing a great job of that. I'm not gonna land that gap. Uh-oh. Alright. So the tip that I was given for the for getting the for doing the helicopter method of this is just go straight at it with as much speed as possible and go for it. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, Pirate Bird. You have actually made this mission consistent for me. Like that is probably one of the biggest obstacles I've had in runs where I've just been unable to consistently do that. Somehow, my line always gets messed up somewhere in the process, and that seems like that work- that actually works. Uh-oh. Yeah, I was not- I was never gonna land that flip trick. I'm pretty sure all I have left is clear the road, the towers, and, I mean, the secret sponsor pairs with the, with clear the road. Or, sorry. I already cleared the road. I need to cut the power. Which is basically the same thing, but different coat of paint. And also six score, which is kind of the main reason why I'm continuing this right now. And while I'm down here, I can actually cut the power. And hell, if I really do want to two-cycle this, I should just go out of my way to get the secret sponsor now. Um, so you are given a... So, this in this game, you are given a... Um, a base level amount of time to explore the stage. Um, you can go da uh, down to the bottom and to the top as many times as you want. Um, but in that time period, there are nine goals that you must complete. Three of them, which are basic score challenges, which is just like, if can you get this amount, uh, this amount of points during the allotted time period? Um, uh, one of them is always logos, which is, um, which is just there are collectibles spread throughout the stage. Collect all of them. Um, there's always a speed challenge, which is the reason I reset, which is that you just have to get from the top to the bottom as fast as possible. And you have to do it while actually accumulating a, a, a different smaller score, but it 
Um, it usually, as long as you're like actually doing things while you go down, you can normally hit that score pretty easily. Um, and then every, and I think every other mission, unless I'm forgetting one, every other mission is unique to the stage. This one, for example, um, has you do a lot of property damage. You just remove a lot of vehicles from the road. Um, um, and I already did that, and... Oh boy. Ooh, okay. Thank god I invested into landing. Landing is deadass the most uh, valuable stat after, um, <laughs> after speed. It allows you to... is the ultimate crutch for just, like, not great gameplay. <laughs> if you ever find yourself just in an awkward line, it, you can have that and it will work in your favor. I jumped over it! No fucking way I jumped over it! Fuck that, I'm going back to my old method. That line... I, I thought that line was consistent. Fuck that line. I'm never taking that line again. My old line was way better than that shit. It may... It may be a loss of speed, but like, I don't care. After seeing that shit... Fuck it. I'm not doing that again. That's frustrating. I was so close to the perfect Mount Hood Meadows, but I fucked it up. I mean, I didn't do anything wrong. I blame, I entirely blame the that line for setting me up with too much speed. Which, I mean, I guess is also on me for not testing that line enough, but that's like the intended way you're supposed to do it. One thing I noticed about this game is that a lot of the intended methods to do things are less consistent from other more jank methods that I find on my own that are very much like pretty clearly not intended but they work and they work to a degree of consistency like this right here I don't think they intended you to do it like this but like look at how much better that sets you up like that is so much better Overall, though, this run is very alive. Like, this is looking like to be on pace for a PB. Not world record, but definitely a PB. This is the first run I've done since I've come back to this game where I actually got to Gotcha Glacier with, like, a decent uh, degree of, like... Like... I've got, like, this is the first time I've gotten to Gotcha Glacier on, like, a fair enough pace. Like, this is pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna try my route that I've really not tested, which you know is a great idea. But even if it goes wrong, like, I expect this, it's not like this is a huge risk to take this, lot, this route, because this route still sets you up to accomplish everything in due time. It's just that it has the potential to do better than that. While we're here, I will... This is a... Rock Rock Mountain kinda goes hard with this game, not gonna lie. And the special grind too. Oh my god. I should really land this combo. But I don't want to. Oh, I didn't jump. Shit. That has the risk of t being a moderate time loss for me.
But honestly, I hadn't even, I wasn't even planning on going for logos. I'm just kind of going for the obstacles that are in my way. And that's just kind of how that's working out in my favor. Shouts to Pirate Bird for show for um, in his run showing me that that is a route you can take. It is not one that I had like ever given any thought to, but it's actually like extremely useful from what I can tell. All right, let's get some speed here and get up to the rail we need to. Close. All right, and now we just need some horizontal momentum. All right, and we can grab this. Yes, sir. The speed at which I did that wasn't the best I've ever done, but for our purposes, I think it'll do. Also, six score already got. That's pretty rad. Okay, yeah! Um, so now I need to go through the motions of going through the track again and doing so very quickly. So far though, this is honestly a very good start to Gacha Glacier. Oh, I might overshoot it. Oh my God. I'm just too good. I don't know why I'm saying that. Like that's set up for things to go very wrong. But man, does it feel stylish. Uh oh. I'm gonna actually go back on... I'm actually gonna go back on my commitment to doing it my way. And I'm actually gonna steal a page out of Bird's book. Cause this is... I am just set up to do his route. And at this point, I might as well. Like, I should just stick with it because his route is proven to work. No! Okay. This is a damper in the plans. So what I will do with this is I will just have to take one extra... I will just have to take one extra trip around. It'll be fine. I will just... Go ahead, bonk that. And... Then I'll just kind of have to do two trips. Which is not the best of news, but this is going to be a pretty damn good run in spite of that. Well, it could go very wrong, actually. Because I haven't tested on whether or not it's possible to do logos fast enough with the speed challenge. So that could be an, that could be an obstacle. But no time like the present for testing that. And if I, and I, I'm also going to attempt to do the secret sponsor with, with the speed challenge. But the problem with the secret sponsor is that it puts you directly into a warp. So unless you like do something extreme to like redirect yourself last minute, you're committed to that path. So I have two different I have two different attempts at getting the time that I need. And I best do it well. I forgot to jump! I forgot to jump! Okay. The run is now in shambles. <laughs> I say that, but I'm only partially joking. Taking an extra Gotcha Glacier run is definitely not preferred. But honestly, these are pretty small screw ups in the grand scheme of things. Like, gr like granted, they're large, they're small screw ups in the regards that they're, um, they're small in scale of like what mistakes I'm making. But they're large in the fact that they are definitely each one is costing me like a minute or two 
but I am honestly just more pleased with the fact that my gameplay has gotten to this point, and since I already missed a loco. I am just going to go for the secret sponsor and call it a day. That's what I'm thinking here. <gasps> okay. <sighs> That's so scary! As you can see, you have so little room to avoid that warp. So, now I have no choice but to pair logos with speed, and we'll see how much time that costs me. But in theory, I don't think that it should be that much slower. Like, it should be very doable. Alright. Alright, get up here, grab that for some extra speed, and grind that, back it up. That was pretty fast, but prob might not be fast enough. I know Gacha Glacier is pretty strict with time restraints. This is a theme song of Tom Foolery. <laughs> Original LA Laps has such a charm to it. The um, 8 version of, of LA Laps, I think is just overall more objectively better, but there's a charm to this version. These rails are very slow. How much time do I have left? Um, I am out of time. All right, um, in that case, I have to make an entire whole other run. But this showed me that I have so much time I can save in Gacha Glacier. Like, I didn't realize just how slow my original Gacha Glacier was. I almost got a gold split in spite of all of those resets, which is kind of insane to me. Regardless, this is going to be a run that I finish, and it's gonna, I mean, at this rate, it would take a miracle for this not to be a PB. I mean, the opposite of a miracle, whatever you'd call that. Um, it would take the curse of Hades to stop this shit. Like, this is, this is, this is not going anywhere, like, it is fine. Due to mishaps, due to gaming. Dubious ex machina. <laughs> What the hell is that? What the hell does that mean? Alright, and time! Only 30 seconds slower than my other Gotcha Glacier! Well, lads, that's a PB. That's a PB by almost five minutes. Oh, Diabolus, sorry. I'm. Gotta forgive me, I am eyeballing chat. I am only side eyeing chat. No, I no, I just misread it. I'm fine. Wanted to pop by and, and uh, say nice. Love that. All right. Well, that was a pretty good run. Like, I just was pretty damn consistent that run. But I think I can do better. I genuinely think I can do better. And so I will. Right here, right now. I have improved and I'm ready to take on. I'm ready to take on a better time. Let's fucking do this shit. Oh yes, Berlin Byways to start us out. Fucking hell yeah. I feel so hyped up. I, I, I feel hyped up. This is wonderful.
I def I mean, there's always a question of whether or not queer count, uh, whether or not asexuality counts in queer. Because I feel like, I feel like asexuals are in the LGBT spectrum, but they aren't really like fruity, if that makes sense. I mean, it counts, yeah, but I it I feel like I hear the word queer and I'm like, hmm. You have to explain it to you, count me as queer. Fair enough. It's hardly the first thing I think when I hear the word queer. I'm just, I am way overachieving for this, for these donors. I don't need to be doing all these tricks, but I can't help it. I'm, the, the song is getting to me. And hell, it's not costing me anything yet. Ah, dang. The reason I could have gone for a bonk there and, sa and saved what I had going there, but I didn't because of the fact that if you can get just enough height for that, can save a lot of time by just let uh by not getting extra airtime there and that can genuinely give, give you a really good honor split but it's risky internalized ace phobia <laughs> and back on snowland back where it all began back where this like this is what we were listening to when the stream began so we're the vibes are at their maximum right now. I hope I didn't miss the first slow sign. I wasn't paying attention. My muscle memory on this stage is just too strong. <laughs> like seriously, I play Donners and I'm not even thinking. I just am so used to going through the motions that I just do it internally. Like there's so little to this to this track that it's um, <laughs> that it's actually just a brain off experience. happy to see the some of my best splits start getting so much lower than birds pb that's really like that's just reinforcing how much of a chance i actually have at beating him and that excites me like i thought that i would probably have to be on the grind for another several months but after that last run i know i'm capable of like some really damn good shit like that's nice And I feel like I've... Kirkwood used to be like one of my biggest... Probably my single biggest run killer. Just because it's the first actual stage. In a similar way that Womp's Fortress is like the first major run killer for... Uh, for speedrunners in a sense. Even though that, that actually goes to lack to skip or bomb clip. But like... In a more like broad sense, you know? I feel like that's what Kirkwood in this game is for me. Ooh, and I got the good setup too. I don't even need to- I don't even need to go back up. Like, I have everything I need. Uh oh That's too much speed! Oh, no! Why didn't you- Hold on, I'm gonna try to save this, even though I really should know better. I saved it! And it's only a little bit slower. Oh! I was talking about the- the, uh, goals that are- that are consistent across every track. I forgot about the secret sponsor. The whole challenge with the secret sponsor is that's supposed to be hidden in a completely out of nowhere place that you would never like 
that you like don't know how to find normally. That's why the first one's in a garage, that's why the second one's in that like weird cave system. It's supposed to be this like really remote location that like is hard to find. But in reality, it just kind of leads to like like just a singular point that you just have to go to during your run that's pretty easy to get to. Albeit a little bit arbitrary how you access it. Oh, okay, that worked out. That did not feel good, but it all right. You love this track? That makes that makes two of us because um, this is my least favorite track in the game. I'm pretty sure, <laughs> um, particularly the section at the bottom. Um, the section at the bottom is what makes me dislike this track um, because. Things are just kind of placed in a way that, like, feels, like, very spiteful. Like, they're intentionally put there to fuck you up, whereas most of the track, most of the levels in this game are built in a way that, like, that it feels like they mo it more encourages you to take whatever lines you want and to just... I feel like most, most levels encourage a general sense of freedom. Like... And I'm talking about this kind of in, kind of outside the context of the story, or the career mode, I guess. Not story. There's not really a story to this game. Um, all right. Well, I can just go for the speed. The aesthetic of this track is nice, but it's not like it's. Like, I like this track, it's just the bottom of it. One small, one small, um, crash isn't gonna kill this. Because it is an earlier stage, so the time is not nearly as strict. I'm surprised that counted as not a crash, but I, I'll go with it. Nice. <laughs> Oh boy. I've never heard this song before. Oh, this is the Rome track. No, 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 no. Oh, God. That was almost disastrous. But I saved it by swerving at the last minute. Um, if I went through that warp, I would need to go through the entire level again. This seems like it's going too well. Surely I have to have forgotten something, right? There's no way I just did things correctly, right? That wouldn't happen. Like, look at all these rails. Every single one of them has collision. So, like, that is just a maze of things waiting to just close the line. Like, this bottom section kills this level for me. Any interest in crash games? Um, I've never had any, but knowing Leah, she'll get me to play them at some point or another. And I'm sure that they're really good. I don't really... Just nothing about what I've seen from them especially intrigues me. That's the gist of how I feel about them. So less than a perfect Kirkwood because I decided to play it safe. Was it for the better? I don't know. But while I still am worried, while I still um, view Kirkwood as this looming threat over me, I'd rather just play it safe and continue and get more runs out of it than um, really try to perfect my times there yet. Oh, that was clean. Oh, hell yeah. Paris Promenade. Also, a strangely fitting song for this track. Unless I'm crazy. I could be crazy. That is a wall of text. Played Crash of the Titans and... Uh, Will of Mind over Mutant. Um, I gotta make sure I'm watching for this part. I didn't get the coffee stand! No perfect Aspen for me. Sad. Fuck it, I'll go for the fast Aspen again. 
I don't need to, I don't know where to be. Should I do this? Probably not. Don't try this at all. Hell yeah, fast Aspen. Somebody named Aspen? I, I've, I've met a couple people named Aspen. They're, they've been pretty cool. Very, very insightful commentary. Tell, tell uh, really letting the masses know about the fact that I have indeed met a single person named Aspen. We're getting the same shuffle. YouTube shuffler is not is not good. I wonder if it's the Mario Kart music or if it's just something about how my brain is wired today. But things are just coming naturally to me, and like that's fine. I'm. Totally cool with that. I still love this Yoshi Desert remix. The fact that it samples the 64 era Yoshi is wonderful. Alright, double check. Yes, sir. We are set up for the speed run. Speed challenge. There we go. That's such it's such good sampling. All right. <gasps> okay. I almost messed up that that line. Wouldn't have been devastating, but it felt high stakes in the moment. Again, I don't know what it's, what the deal has been, but I keep getting a really slow grind there. It probably isn't that bad, but it's like. I can feel the slowness there. And eventually I'll get a line that's a little better. That felt like a pretty fast grind for that house though. That was pretty good. I shouldn't be reading chat while needing to focus. Uh, Brawl Falcon Punch remix of all things. Oh, you, are you thinking about this? the the one of Dreamland 64. That's an interesting. That's an interesting thought. But I can kind of see it. Okay, I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to hit the signs this time, even if it does result in a little bit slower ground speed. That's a gold split. I had to retrace like an entire extra section, and that was still a gold split. What the hell? Who is this man, and what did he do with the old TJ? I guess I never- I guess I don't get to play Aspen that often, so... Getting a gold split isn't that crazy, and I've only recently adopted a new strategy that should be saving me time anyway, but like... Alright! Rad. Sure, I've heard it before. I, yeah, and I was asking, are you talking about the one that's that's uh, that's of the of the, the Smash 64 version of the Gourmet Race? That's what I was asking. Yeah, okay. Yeah, of course I've heard that. In fact, one of my favorite um, Siva Gunner rips is a parody of that, or it's kind of a recreation, but also a parody. I like it mostly because of what it adds. That's completely unique to it. The temptation to attempt to do cranes and cycle the rest of this, but I must resist the urge to be silly. No, we're, we're playing it safe. It wouldn't even save that much time. Like. We don't need to get that finicky yet. And we don't want to kill the run.
Oh, we're going nuts with this combo. Alright, let's just land that. Just so that we're ready for the secret sponsor up here. And that we don't have to redo it on another run through. That was pretty fast. Bump. And we are ready for this logo. Six score done already. God dang. Love that. Let's smash the slot. Wonderful. I did see Carpet List is real. Kind of insane. But at this point, there's very little that can surprise me in the Mario 64 community. But it is very exciting that that, has, that that development has occurred. Hey, get out of here! I may not be involved with the Mario 64 community as much anymore, but I still follow it. Like, even though I don't like vocalize my presence around it, I still see what what happens um, in a lot of cases. All right, let's just fucking go for it. <laughs> I can put a... I, I don't know if this is just my confidence that's increased a bunch. Or if birds like small modifications to my route are like the most impactful thing that have ever happened. Like, I can't tell if Bird just has set things up. You want to say both? Yeah, I suppose that's valid. It could definitely be both. Alright. It feels great to be playing at the level that I am right now. Like, I don't know if in the history of speedrunning this game for myself, if I've ever just had two consecutive runs, um, leave heavenly, <laughs> like, that's kind of nutty, or at least for what I'm used to, but this pace is incredible. I think I actually, in my, in my personal best, I actually do heavenly. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna gold split here. Wow. Two in a row, huh? Only 30 seconds lost overall. Compared to what were supposedly my best splits. Okay, but surely, Snowbird is where we lose a lot. Like, nothing good leaves Snowbird. That would be silly. Oh, it's going more than good. Um, I'm comparing... You understand, what you are seeing on screen, I am comparing against my best splits ever. Um, this is not compared to my world, to my personal best. This is each individual split, like, the fastest I've ever done any individual section. So, I, you can say I'm doing pretty good. I want to finish that up real quick. I should probably land this. Yeah, definitely the right move. I had 300,000. That's more than enough. And at that point, the the uh, the combo multiplier was staling. Well, I'm going for this route again. So I guess I'm going to attempt to do the snowmobile setup that I did last time. Palisades, there's... I'm actually... 
Palisade I actually have uh, more than decent enough splits for. Oh my god, that launched me. Holy shit. Back here, alright. And one more will do the job. Oh, I didn't, didn't autobunk. Autobunk didn't autobunk. Alright. Stopped it fast enough to get back to the warp. And I got, I already got the snowman on the left, so I can just scurry on over to the right and just be ready for it. Uh-oh. I bonked that! Alright, that wasn't an intended input, but I'll fucking take it. I thought I was gonna crash. That's pretty damn good! That was six score, god damn, all right. I am everywhere I want to be right now. Okay, 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 let's let's calm down a little bit. I'm just gonna fucking go for Secret Sponsor. Secret Sponsor would be on a pace to fucking destroy me, but I'm just gonna fucking go for it. Okay. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up! Okay, we sur stayed, stayed in the lane. Alright. Chat. Um... I don't know how to say this, but... I don't know how, I don't, I, I'm afraid to say it, because I don't, I, I mean, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say it so soon. There's no way I should suck at Snowbird. There's no way I do that. I almost didn't. No fucking way! There's no way I two cycle Snowbird. This is the biggest run killer of the of the game. What the fuck is happening? Have I made a mistake this run yet? I guess the Kirkwood was a, was a little bit sloppy, but like, I have two cycled everything. I guess there's Heavenly, which I played a little safer. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Just do the setup, everything will be fine. <gasps> no fucking way, chat! What the hell is happening? Um. When I said that, when I did that first, that first run, and got an immediate PB, and followed that up by saying, but I can definitely do better, I didn't think that I was just going to do better on the spot. What the hell, chat? What is happening to me? <laughs> what is this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> what? Chat, I'm getting scared. <laughs> Chat, what is this? <laughs> Remember to breathe? I... <laughs> probably... I probably didn't need to hear that. Alright. New stage. New, new set of mind. 
new set of things to mess up. I didn't even do that last grab, but it worked out somehow. I should probably land this combo, but I don't want to. Chat, I need to land this combo. <laughs> Okay, six score and one combo. Fuck it, why not? Just completely remove the entire score attack equation um, from the from the mind. But yet I still continue to do insane combos, and I'm almost at a million points. All right. Okay. Yeah, that was about as good of a landing as I could ever have hoped for there. That was wonderful. Alright. Uh-oh. My setup is a little bit awkward. Still worked out. Alright. In fact, it was faster than my normal setup. Now that I have the logo, I can literally just go for the cat. Alright. Okay. the clothesline. I'm not going to be able to get cut the power on this cycle, so I'll just go to my backup strat. Cut the power, it's move the cranes, whatever. Same difference. Y'all you, 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 know what I'm talking about. I mean, if you don't, then you don't know the game that well, and that's just how it is. one, it slides on down, destroys everything, and to grind this, that, and yes sir, we're ready for the speed round. insisting on playing with the crane. So I had to lock him inside the hallway. A crane on a car? You're, you're confusing me. Perfect musical timing. If it's possible, still clip that. I'd like to hear what, that, what you're referring to. <laughs> I am in the zone and I am barely even noticing the music, I'll be honest. Uh-oh. Uh, this is sketchy. <gasps> I made it. I didn't think I was going to make that. Not my fastest palisade, but more than good enough.
Wait, so you're... Is this conversation about both, like, the animal and the, and the vehicle thing? Because I thought you were just talking about, like, your pet cat. Oh, I just now realized. That's why, that's why I'm having to strain to reach out a more. Um, because, um, I'm having to strain to reach out more because of the fact that, sorry, I'm focusing, um, because of the fact that OBS did the funny thing where it removed my, uh, extra window that I used specifically to reach out. So I'm reading it off of the overlay when I don't normally do that. It was a stray, I see. Man, Koopa Troopa Beach is one of the best Mario Kart songs ever. I just wanted to land that. I could have landed that on manual, but I just was too afraid of what could have happened otherwise. So I didn't. Okay, I guess I'm going for towers then. That's one of the coolest gaps in the game. It looks like you're not gonna land it and then you all and then you always do. It's so cool looking. Alright, let's here we go with the helicopter the, the helicopter skip attempt. Oh, I was so close that time! I almost got the helicopter skip! Too bad. I'm sorry, I'll read your comment in a second, comment, you know? Okay. For a second I thought, uh, this was like, one of those, um... What?! That, I have, I would have never thought of Koopa Troopa Beach sounding anything like that. But alright, whatever works for you, Chief. Oh right, I need to get I need to get six score still. I'm so used to being on top of everything that I actually forgot that I need to be like um, doing more combos. The question now I don't I'm not set up for helicopter skip. What do I go for here? That is a wall of text, and I am not going to read that at this moment. I'm sorry. I'll get to you in a moment. So, like, about halfway through is where you jump. Helicopter skip? No way! What the fuck? <laughs> I got it! Let's go! If I had a nickel for every time, I've, um, okay, that, that, that's still too long of a thing for me to read. Uh-oh. Oh, that's, that's the run killer. Okay, um, with that in mind, I kind of have to go for it again. Shit. I have no idea what you're talking about, how many do you know? Alright, if I had a nickel for every time I've randomly stumbled across a live speedrun of a Tony Hawk, 
style sports game, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. <laughs> That's a crash. This is not going to be my best. I had so much potential to make this my best, um, to make this my best, um, Mountain Hood Meadows of all time, but I squandered it. But that's fine. This is the first time in the run where I've made a mistake. Like, not a... Not like a mild mishap that needs, like, that needs me to, like, fix it, uh, fix it just by taking a slightly unoptimal route, but like a full-on mistake. This is the first time that I've had one of those this entire run. So, overall, pretty damn good. And this one shouldn't even, and this one shouldn't even take more than um, one cycle to correct. It's just one cycle, which one cycle on Mount Hood Meadows is several minutes, but better than like needing to go through the map several times because you keep failing helicopter skip. Um, what, a sh what a very specific um, example. I wonder if that's ever happened to me before. I love how when you do helicopter skip, the helicopter just shows up there because it, uh, because it acknowledges the fact that I've done that mission. Time for the music again. Indeed. Perhaps something more lighthearted is just what we need. All right. Whoops. All right. Speed and towers. God, could you imagine if I actually two cycled Mount Hood? Like, that would have been nutty. But the fact that my first non two cycle is in Mount Hood, that is nothing to be ashamed of. I guess I'm taking a slightly unoptimal route. Alright. I'll just make the jump. Uh-oh. That's not making the jump at all. That's fucking up. Oh no! I'm having one of these Mount Hood Meadows. Ooh boy. That's too bad. This run might have lost its potential for world record with that. I mean it definitely did. If I if I had a if I had a shot at it still, I definitely lost it out of that out of that. So that's a that's too bad. But this still has plenty of room to PB. What the hell? Alright, let's try that again. I got the towers. That's all done. Now I just need to get to the bottom of the damn track. I cannot stop showboating. What can I say? It just feels too good to do tricks in this game. What the hell? That was some weird ass trajectory that sent me on. Well, now I actually have to get down there pretty damn fast. That was a very thematic voice line for the music. Uh, 
Why is it enjoying the game I speedrun? It's crazy. That couldn't be me. What a silly thing to think about. Alright. Last three minutes to uh, Mount Hood Meadows. Oh, I didn't get six score. Oh, fuck me. I thought I did. That is actually possibly a run killer. That might actually be a run killer. I'll just have to go for the most insane combo ever. Got it. Uh, so I can minus and then four minutes. Not as bad. I got used to GBA Mario Kart just fine. It's unlike any other game in the series, and it's not a it's not a feeling I expect people to like grow accustomed to. But it's not. There are much worse feeling games out there. It's jank, but so it's like 64 and others. Uh, I don't have other examples. Yo, Moo? Moo? The OG Moo. I was surprised that it wasn't FCR today. My desire to hunt back my world record has been too strong. The different, the re, the main reason that I didn't do F0 today is because I want something to work towards. And F0 doesn't really give me that. Like, F0 is great mindless fun, and believe me, there's no one who indulges in a little bit of mindless fun like your boy. But. When I have a purpose, I want to chase that purpose. And if someone decides to beat my my uh to play a 2001 released game faster than me, that must simply be fixed. <laughs> 6 score just like that. All right. Love that. That's great. Uh oh, that's crashing. Yep. Please get up before the ramp. Oh no! That puts a damper in my plans. It is the, it is near the top, so I guess it's not unrecoverable. I need to get up here so I can get this rail. Jump off as soon as possible. And just that. <gasps> I mean I got I got the credit for it, so that's what matters. We're not open yet. Uh oh. Alright, that didn't feel good. That doesn't feel good either. But it doesn't matter because it all works out in the end. Yes, sir. Alright, 
Let's amend that mistake from earlier and get that damn logo. I mean, I'd have to get down there twice if I'm gonna have any chance. Which, let's be real, I don't think that's necessarily in the realm of possibilities. I'm thinking. I think I adjust my plan. I go for the secret sponsor now, and then I try to sneak the last logo in at the end, and then tr um, and then try to get back to the logo. And then on the speed round, do the do the billboard. I don't think I can get back there in time, but I'm sure as hell gonna try. And if it fails me, then um, that's okay. But I act. But if I actually do accomplish this, I might still be on world record pace, which would kind of be insane. I don't think I can keep this in a combo. I don't think I can get this last logo while maintaining this combo. And I didn't. <laughs> All right. If I get to watch live world record or something uh, ridiculous from both half a press guy and the door wait doorbell guy. Oh, you oh you're talking about family jewels. Ah, fascinating. Okay, um... I'm gonna attempt to do the logos as fast as possible, just to see if it's, like, possible to pair them. Like, if I do the logos as fast as I possibly can, and it lines up with the speed challenge, then I'm gonna take that free out. Like, you bet I'm gonna take that free win. Free win, not, not win, but like free excuse to free excuse to pair things together. No, don't don't hand plant. Ah, you dumbass! I didn't make that. Oh my god. Okay, well, um, if I'm gonna have any chance, I have to, I have to do the other method. The sloppiest, uh, the sloppiest logos you have done ever seen. But I'm pretty sure I'm still on pace to make this a, um, to make this a gold split for Gachi Glacier. Oh boy. Ow. Straight into the shoot. After this run, because I know I'm not going to be, um, I am not going to be satisfied with this run, and I'm going to want to keep going. Like, I'm on a hot streak, so just fucking keep going. Why? I don't know why I didn't reset earlier. I'm just realizing that. Um, I am not going to be satisfied with this run, so... When I reset, I am going to swap to Necro Dancer music. Because the Mario Kart music has lost its charm a little bit for me. Or at least the particularly hearing the, the tour soundtrack. The tour soundtrack is a very great variety, but let's get let's go somewhere different. 
That hand plant could cost me. That was a very not great place to hand plant. Uh, that's fine. All right. All right, so then we can simply go over here. <laughs> the run is in shambles, y'all. The run is in shambles. I fucked it up. I mean, this wasn't the run that mattered anyway, but... This wasn't the run that mattered anyway, but... I fucked up. The thing about Necrodancer is that it has a, it has a massive barrier to entry. Like, you are going to die a lot. You have to accept that, move on, and just roll with the punches as you receive them. Necrodancer is a game that is a trial by fire, and there will be lots of fire. <gasps> why did it? Uh, why didn't you go left? I I held to the left. You piece of shit. I don't think I can beat my personal best, but I'll finish it for the heck of it. Okay, so you've played Cadence of Hyrule. That's good, because that's another tip I often give, is that Cadence of Hyrule is a easier game at its fundamental level, because it gives you a place to continue when you die, and also gives you a much more, um, a, mu a much more assured health boost. It's much better at replenishing your health. It's just a much more forgiving game overall, even if the enemy patterns are a bit harder. You're kidding me, bro! What is happening? I mean, clearly, this is just a sign that I need to make this jump. Because until I do, this is going to be a, a goblin that haunts me. There's a, there's a more direct way to go after the billboard. But I don't like that method. That is the intended method, like, much more assurably. Like, the way that they expect you to go to accomplish it, because, like, it lines you up, like, much more, like, square in the middle of it. But you have so much more room for, um, doing things correctly when you go up here. Just jump a little later. That's all you gotta do, Teach. That's all you gotta do. There you go. It's not that hard, bud. It really ain't that hard. Oh my god. Wow, I didn't even know you could land there. That's cool. Alright, and we are approaching time. Wait, that wasn't the... Well? Maybe I don't care then. Maybe I just don't care about the run. Fuck it. See if I care. I don't care about that. Your stream froze? Oh no. Far, uh, I played... You played with the harder characters and they seemed far from forgiving. Are you telling me proper Necrodancer has characters tougher to play as than Arya? Necrodancer has Arya. Arya is from Necrodancer. And unlike Cadence of Hyrule, you have to do it all in one go. Like, you can't just get to a checkpoint and, and keep trudging your way through. No. You go from start to end with Arya, and that's it. And that's not even the worst part. 
because Necrodancer has plenty of other insane challenge characters. There's, uh, there's Monk, who can't touch gold, so every time you kill an enemy, the space that you kill them on is completely forfeit, and you cannot touch it again, unless you use a bomb on it. Um, there's, um, there's Bolt, who, in who forces you to play the game at two times tempo, and if that's not enough for you, by completing a run in which you beat the game with n the nine base game characters back to back, mind you, that includes Area, Bolt, and Monk, you cannot die a single time in this run. If you beat the game nine times consecutively, including with the three hardest characters in the game, guess what? I lied about them being the hardest characters in the game. Because you unlock one extra challenge character that adapts all of their gimmicks. So that is two times the tempo. Um, d you cannot touch gold, and you die in one hit to anything. Or a missed beat, mind you. Um, so even unlocking Coda um, is insane. Actually doing a run with Coda? There's ways to jank, there's ways to jank around it, but beating an all characters run is the highlight. Like that is where that is where the insanity peaks. At that point, Coda is just like fuck it, why not? Just uh just get lucky one time and you'll get there. All right. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I can feel this I can feel the sweat on my shirt. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to be right back. Uh, change, grab some water, and get ready for this next run, which will surely be the world record. Surely. <laughs> Absolutely. That's, that's just how it works, right? We'll find out. So I'll leave you guys with some Berlin Byways while I go quickly refresh myself. All right. Cool, cool. I don't have Twitch chat on this. I should change that. One second. Um, I'll at least let you guys, because I, I, I feel like you guys should see um, yourselves. How have I never added a, a Twitch chat to the screen? Alright, that's now on screen. You can't see it because I haven't put a background on it. Color source, chat background. There you go. Alright. Oh, whoops. Uh, there you go. Uh, Rin is from Toho, the Toho Project series of games. Uh, anyway, I will be right back. Um, I, I saw your chat message rise as I was putting down my headphones. Um, Subterranean Animism is the game where she originates from. She's also in the newest game, and this particular gif is from, uh... And this particular GIF is from a f is from one of the Toho fighting games. I don't know which one because I don't know my Toho games that well. But anyway, I enough enough delay. I'll be right back.
All right, and I'm, and I'm gonna come back right as it fades out too. I don't, I don't even need to fade it out myself. Wonderful. All right, chat. Are you ready for the run? Because I don't think I am. <laughs> I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try, but having two runs get to Gotcha Glacier back to back—that's kind of crazy. But you know what? Speedrunning can also just be about momentum. So we'll see how that goes. In terms of the Necrodancer soundtrack of choice, I'm thinking that I just want to go with this with the classic Danny B. Because I mean, I mean, if I end up doing more runs, then we can uh, we can worry about that later. <laughs> Your seats. <laughs> it can't be that exciting. I don't get too excited. We still have three minutes of pretty of pretty mind-numbing gameplay and Donners to get through. All right, here we go. What a fucking amazing soundtrack. This is the fucking tutorial track, like... Pacing of these track, the pacing of the songs in this OST, are also kind of just on par with I think the pace of the of the run, where um, the first few tracks are like pretty tame for the most part. Like they set a tone of like they set a tone, but for the most part they're just kind of more atmospheric while I'm just kind of in my setup phases, because the song really. It plays like it's a setup song, and that's really what Donner's is for these runs. Donner's is just getting getting your hands warm. Nice. Oh no, that air pocket could have cost me some time. I love how Donner's is such an easy track that every micro chasm of things that uh, that I lose time to, I have this, like, drastic reaction like, oh no. Like, oh no. Not the one second that I'm gonna lose in Donners. God forbid. You know, compared to like the actual like five minutes that I lose in in Gotcha Glacier, pretty much consistently. <laughs> ah, shoot! That air pocket always catches me off guard. I always want to front flip off of that uh, off that ledge and like get my special meter like build back up. Oh no. Um not the 10 second not the 10 second slower donners. This is disastrous. That's fucked up. You weren't ready? What do you mean you weren't ready? Wait, what the hell? I didn't hit the shuffle button. Also this is every soundtrack. Um, this is not supposed to be every soundtrack. Let's let's uh let's fix that. Let's go back a little. All right. This this playlist should still work though, because this playlist should still work though. I just have to turn off the shuffle and it'll be fine. You were present for the banjo, but not Tony Hawk. Got you. Anyway, despite the massive crash at the beginning, 
Um, only had a five second deficit. Probably less than that because I was late to the split, so. Just goes to show you that Donner's really is just checking to see if you're paying attention. It doesn't matter what you do, as long as you finish it, it's usually fine. Okay, and I got the setup too. Dang, love that. Oh, I have a lot of speed going into this, but I got it perfect. Goddamn. That's nice. Look at that execution right there. Like, that was clean. I didn't have 6-4 already. All right, well, I have it now. Also, I accidentally, like, full replayed this song without realizing it. But, like, it'll get just more hyped up later. Don't worry about it. Pretty good dismount. My god. You know what? I feel confident. I feel confident enough in my in my Kirkwood that I'm just gonna skip that. Is that a, is that the correct decision? I don't know. But I think I have enough confidence in my ability to bonk these animals that I'm just going to save the logos and not even bother going around uh, not even bother going for the logos because I can just pair that with the time with the uh, time challenge. I'm gonna look like a massive fool right now if I miss this moose pong, but I'm not gonna because my setup has been working consistently. All you have to do is go off the right side of the ramp. I didn't jump! All right, so I'm gonna look a little silly. I can still go around a second time though. I can get back here in time and try it again. It won't be a pretty Kirkwood, but it'll be a good enough one, probably. Um, if I get if I get the bonk. Otherwise, it's a, that's a full reset. We're going back to Spur. Buddy. Lad, come on. Turn around. Get yourself moving again. We got a deer to bonk. Alright. Let's try this again. Just come to a stop. Wait for it. Jump and bump. It is that simple. All right. Just run into it. Yes, sir. I'll give it one more go before I just reset the run. In the end, um, Kirkwood still finds a way to shut down a run, even on a day like today. I mean, probably. We don't know that for sure yet, but I probably would be better off resetting this run. If it goes over two minutes, I'll reset the run. That's what I'm thinking. Even though it is comparing to my best splits, I still don't want to be too far off base. <laughs> this is also why I hate Kirkwood because just rails they 
This is like the only track where rails act like this, where they just have collision and are just placed directly into your path. This is the biggest reason why I hate Kirkwood. Well, I said I'd restart if I was two minutes behind, and I guess what? I'm pretty sure I'm two minutes behind now. I'm not. The second it hits two minutes, that's when I restart. I thought I wasn't going to make the speed challenge. That was one of the ugliest Kirkwoods I've ever seen, but I'm just so in the mood for seeing a run get somewhere that I'll take this one in spades and move on with my life. My menuing is off as well. Don't worry about it. I'll probably know whether it's worth resetting by the end of Aspen, though. But right now, because of the state of the current run, I am going to go for any risky strat that I would. But I've been doing that anyway on, on Aspen, so that really doesn't mean much for this context. Brother in Christ, get the fuck up. What do you think you're doing? Okay, that was sketchy as hell, but it worked somehow. And that was still pretty fast. Despite the crash. We don't talk about the crash. Bonk. I probably shouldn't be doing all this airtime, but, you know... I don't have an excuse. Alright. If I get this coffee stand, this is a sign. I got the coffee stand, so there's definitely time that we can save in Aspen because of that. The crash might have made that less possible. We'll find out. Take the risky strat. Risky strat worked. That wasn't the most terrible thing I've ever seen. I have no clue what my pace is going to look like after this. Is that bonk worth it? I don't know. Probably not, because it's airtime, and any unnecessary airtime is probably not good. Alright, how's that going to pay out in the long scheme? Do I have time to save here? Will I save that time? All questions that will be answered in due time. Uh-oh. Well, yes, we're going for the backup. I mean, I got the branch, so, like, that's fine. <gasps> well, that's the end, boys. That's it. Hold on. Well, um... Consider that the warm-up run, and I'll save the actual uh, level 1 music for after we start. That's the reset. Given the fact that I've gone two and a half hours in the stream without a reset, that's pr that's fine. I can take one reset. All right. 
just means we're starting from a clean slate, and we don't have to have a run with that terribly ugly Kirkwood. Which, you know, that's nice. <clears throat> and let's do it. I don't know if you did that int intentionally, but um, you just you decided a direct lyric from one of the copyrighted songs in this game. <laughs> that's why I play. That's why I'm playing with my own background music. By the way, is obviously copyrighted. What was the lyric? It don't matter. <laughs> did I say did I say your name, Kami? You know, I meant to say I meant to say uh, Kaki. Blues kind of mixed me up. I got schmixed. But it's a direct lyric of uh, of courage from Al from Alien Ant Farm, which is in this, which is in this game. Just how I talk. Fair enough. I'm not making that jump, so I'll just take the bonk. I assumed it was just listening to any other, any OST for too long. Makes one go crazy and stupid. Ah! A good no I could listen to the Necro- I've listened to the Necrodancer soundtrack hundreds of times. Hundreds? No, not hundreds. Probably a hundred. Not hundreds, plural. A good enough soundtrack can absolutely circumvent that, but this game's soundtrack is pretty mediocre overall. But the copyright was the bigger issue for sure. I was person that let me talk in song lyrics. I don't think that would restrict your speech as much as you'd expect it to be, unless you were like really picky and said and like said the song had to be like the song lyrics had to be like a certain degree of popular, because you can probably find pretty much any human sentence in a song. Lyric. Probably. Let's see if I can finally get this like flip trick I want to get. Yes, I can. That's what I've been trying to do this whole time, except maybe without the sloppy landing and in landing in a combo. Ooh, this is gonna be an ugly Donners. I've not crashed yet, so probably still faster than the previous one I did, but. Death Road to Canada OST? I, I like Death Road to Canada. I've played Death Road to Canada a good amount. Um, it's, per it's personally not like one of my absolute favorites, but it's it's not it's nice accompaniment. It doesn't particularly stick out in my head as one that like really is good. Oh hell yeah, Cryptic! I love this track. I I mean I, sh I sh it's not like I'm surprised by it because I know the entire Necronetzer OST by heart. I know what song comes when. That was actually, like, on pace with the time that I crashed, which is hilarious. Just because I had some, like, weird lines. That shit really does matter. Or, it can add up anyway. I am gamer leaning too hard. I'm starting to feel it on my back. <laughs> ah. I'm gonna lay back in my chair here. Give that back a little bit of rest. Just grind out as many of these special grinds as possible and get every score in one combo. Love that. Oh, that was beautiful. So I have no shortage of options now. I missed the sign. So I will need to take the snowmobile back up, which is a small, a small but completely forgivable mistake. Ooh, 
Okay. That got very close. I don't want to take it back yet. Well, guess I am. I mean, it's not like it's a huge deal. It doesn't matter when I take it back. That much, anyway. It would be easier to do the animal thing. Actually, do I even want to do the animals? Like, I can just literally do the animals with the, uh... With the... With the speed challenge. Like, I think I have enough confidence in my ability to bonk that I'm just gonna try that. This could very well kill the run in its tracks, but I think I'm getting good enough at Kirkwood that I'm willing to go for these nominal time saves. How's the grind going? I got a PB earlier, and I've been having some pretty good runs that I've just been dying out really late game. I've only had to reset a few times. I think that a lot of your modifications to my routes have really helped me. I've been noticing that I'm just playing consistently today, and that's pretty rad. I was wondering if I'd see you in my chat. Big storm coming in. Wait, I can... Wait, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Wait, am I... I have everything, right? I got very distracted. Hilarious. <laughs> I mean, as long as I get the bonks, I'll be fine. Also, after attempting Gacha Glacier a bit more, I am starting to think that you might be right, and that trying to go pair logos with the speed challenge might not be possible. I feel like there's a world where eventually that gets optimized, but I don't think we're quite in that world yet. Alright, come to a complete stop. Jump. Uh-oh. Oh no, I got it. I got it. We're good. Don't worry about it. That is a wall of text. I'm gonna get that on a easier, on a point where I'm I jumped over it. Fuck! Alright, well that's a reset. <laughs> I probably don't need to reset there. You're probably gonna go for more world records. Like, are you talking individual records or um or were you wanting to like do the category extension of the of the times two speed or You literally can't. I ha- Fair, uh... <laughs> Bird, you get- you-, you <laughs> My method of playing this game is fucked up. Like, <laughs> I do things in the most unintended ways possible. <laughs> Which works both to my benefit and to my detriment. Because some of- because, um, some of them result in, like, this weird, like, um, this weird, like, uncertain consistency. Um, <laughs> and some of, and some of it is just like, I'm just overcomplicating it for no reason other than my own comfort, which probably isn't good, but like, <laughs> it's what I do. I don't know why, but I just have a very jank way of playing this game. And it's really funny to watch your uh, your playthroughs because, like, I grew up with this game doing things in the most, like, backwards-ass ways. And I watch your runs, and you're, like, playing the game the way the developers obviously <laughs> intended for you to play the game. Like, I didn't even know the route that you used to, to do the, uh, to do the poster bonk in Gacha Glacier. I didn't even know that route existed, but looking at it, it is so obvious that is the way you are supposed to do that mission. And that is so funny to me, <laughs> because I never found it that way. Why not? 
But yeah, my PB from earlier was like a good five minutes, so I'm closing the gap. And I was playing like really well earlier. I think I've lost a lot of that momentum now, but we'll see if I gain it back. Oh my god, that was, uh, I don't know what that line was, but alright. Another thing you do is, like, you know how to, like, actually consistently get the, get the surf manual, and I, for me, it always feels like it's, like, a 50% chance to actually get it. But because of the pressure that you've exuded on me from your ability to do that consistently, you have me going for these dock jumps, which I've gotten consistent at, so you have improved my Donner's times. with up and down manuals, that would explain, that would literally explain why it feels like it's a 50% chance if it'll work. Because <laughs> when I manual, I just kind of spam the stick up and down, which is a level of precision that the game probably expects you to do a little better with. <laughs> that explains a lot though, that it's literally just one of the two types of manuals. Um, what else? Um, Forgotcha Glacier. Um, the dev set up so, uh, so many lines, um, that there's technically several correct ways to do many of the goals. I mean, yes, there's, there's, <laughs> but I feel like the way that I do it is very much like, I feel like the way you do it is like the very obvious, like, hey, this path is here for you to do this, this in the most, like, direct way possible and then there's me over here going all the way up the rail like three times <laughs> all right I'm out of Donners the run can officially begin. That World Tour time? Interesting. That was never a category I was ever too interested in. I only added it because someone else expressed interest in it, and I was like, all right, sure. I'll add it to the leader. I'll add it to the leaderboard. But I, I respect it. Okay. I got up here, so... Setup continues to work. I don't know how I keep pulling it off, but I do. Someone needs to stop this man. Uh-oh. You know what? Maybe it's slower, but it'll at least set me up correctly for the secret sponsor, so. But it's interesting, because now that I've, like, watched your world record, I find myself improvising a lot less, and having a full structured plan a lot more. I feel like you took a lot of my macro structure, and gave it much more, like, life, in terms of, like, properly defining when you should do what thing. And that's helped me a lot. I almost fucked that up. Uh-oh. I did fuck that up. Uh, we'll just have to go back. Oh, no. You know what? No, it's fine. I can... I can just come back. I can just come back, do that in the speed run. That's fine. It's my indecision that's gonna cause... That's really costing me time. I need to see that it's not working, walk away, and do it on the other run. That's all I gotta do. Especially considering that I have plenty of setup. Big storm coming in. I hate I hate that line. That line fucks me up every time. Uh, what the There's a fucking rail there! Alright. Get the hawk, the hawk, slow it down, jump. I didn't bonk him there? All right. I have another, I have another cycle I can go at it. All 
Alright, get that special meter back up. I am not worried. I have confidence because I've been doing well with Kirkwood recently. You wouldn't believe it from... You wouldn't believe it from some of the things you've seen, but I, I promise you... My Kirkwood consistency was good earlier. Look, if I get in two cycles, I'll call it good enough. Kirkwood is like... Kirkwood's the bane of my existence. I don't know what this level does to my brain, but it fucks me up. Fucking... I don't have time to, for this. I think I'm done. Jesus Christ, this is a terrible Kirkwood. Um, I don't think I can make it. But I'm gonna try because the... I mean, what else do I have to lose at this point? I don't make it after that crash. That's it. <laughs> Nerves are getting me now all of a sudden. Take a step back and get a run that gets out of Kirkwood, please. I had two runs go to go to Gotcha Glacier back to back. Like I I had something going earlier, but that seems to have left me. We'll see if I can get it going again, though. I have another just random question that I have been kind of curious because I saw in your run you were uh, whenever you would end up um, on switch stance you would normally you normally like made it a pretty big habit to go back to um, to go back to your regular stance does being on switch affect anything like does it make you more likely to crash or like slow you down because if it did, I genuinely never knew. As of course, if you're still here and listening. But I know you tend to lurk, so you probably are. And easy. Not bad. Totally okay with having an inactive chat for the moment. You can just take this as a form of meditation at this point. Oh wait, you know what? You're probably still watching, but you're like probably mid run of your own or something. That's probably what it is. You didn't say you were doing that. There's no reason why you couldn't do a run like while watching. Oh, hold on. Um, force of habit on your part. Um, in Tony Hawk. Um, in Tony Hawk game switch stance debuffs your other stats. Unless switch stat um, is maxed out. Interesting. 
So this is so that's more of just a carry so that's more of just a carryover from other games. Okay, interesting. So it probably so as far as we're aware it doesn't matter. Good donors. 0.5 second difference? That's pretty damn good. Fucking love. Fucking love Death Metal. Metal Men see such a good track. That might be something that, that might be worth testing in the future. If there continues to be harsh competition, that'll probably be something we have to test in order to try to get an edge on one another. And if it does, and if it does have an effect, then you have quite a uh, head start over me in terms of prop the uh, correct habits to have. One thing I love about this game is just how much different uh, how much runs can differ from person to person. Oh, what is this? Like, there's... I wouldn't expect a game like this to be expressive, but people just have their own ways of doing things, and that's really cool to me. Uh -oh. I don't know why I said uh-oh. I was really not in any real danger. I just didn't like how that felt. I would like for my Kirkwood run to start being good and not whatever the hell this is. I thought I was going to mess that up. Not great. I hate that rail because I know it's faster if I just try to jump to the uh, uh, to the rail from the area. But I also know that if I don't use the rail, then I'm not going to be set up correctly. And I have like a much higher risk of just making a completely unforced error that kills the run. Wait for it, and jump. I missed it. That's fine. We get, we get two. That's always scary when you get the logo as well, because you were on a much slower speed at that point in time. I jumped over it! What the hell? I didn't have that much speed. I slowed down on everything. This is probably another reset, which is weird, because I don't know why it's failing me now. Really? What happened to my consistency? Thankfully for me, Kirkwood's at the beginning of the run, but man... These damn animals. I probably didn't even need to reset that. I probably... All I probably need to do there was just try it again on the speed attempt. Instead of trying to fit them in there. So I technically hadn't even done that yet. I'm so unused to my new way of doing this that it keeps throwing me off. I'm used to trying to get every single goal on my first on my first run through, but that's just very plain and simply not something I do any anymore. Ha! Ah, the, the water gave me hiccups. It seems.
Oh wow, I'm quickly nearing my 250th attempt, or at least 250th timer reset, because there's always false starts and stuff like that, but that's a milestone. I didn't mean to land that, but alright, we can just, it's, it's, it's Donners, pretty much anything goes. That counted! Holy crap! I thought for sure I was going to be way too far right. Because that guy's hitbox can be a little finicky if you try to go, like, really far off to the right. That's it. Yes, sir. Donner's reset. You don't see that very often. Literally only happens when you get too bored and deviate from your normal. I have failed the vibe check. If I get to the end of this soundtrack, does it go straight into an, a different one? No, it goes into a shop. It goes into shopkeeper versions. I'm trying to decide if I want if I want to switch off Danny B. Eh, let's switch off Danny B. Let's go the chip. Let's go listen to the Chipsel version. Sucks that we don't get to hear Zone Four, which is just really good. But let's just mix it up. Isaac? Isaac is too dramatic for me. I... Or maybe the original Isaac is... I know the original Isaac's a different style. Um... But... Um... The original Isaac's different. But... Uh, if I'm gonna be listening to my own music, I want it to be something I'm, like, attached to. So... If not Mario Kart Necrodancer is the next best thing. All right, let's get some chip, some chips, little Necrodancer going. Go and go again. I am vibing with this a lot more. I will say, actually, I am vibing with this a lot more already. Fuck! I forgot how good chip, Chipsel's version is. Why not? I don't know. Not everything has to have questions. Uh oh. I thought I was doomed! I thought I was doomed! Do the normal, just go above them and get a grab. That's all you need to do. Don't do anything crazy, dumb, stupid. I knew I wasn't going to clear that, but I, I got greedy and I wanted to do it anyway. I say that as though I, I knew that when, when I made the jump, but I really... The time I realized it was when, I'd ar when I, I was already in the air, so... I'm not going to hold that against myself. And it's Donners, who freaking cares? Go for the gold split, but like, if you mess up, then it's Donners, who cares? As long as you get all the objectives, like, that's fine. The 
this feels like it's a pretty slow Donners. And, like, that's fine. Donners may as well not even exist in the run. <laughs> Maybe not that. I feel like Donner's is a decent, like, first barrier for, for beginners to overcome. It makes sense as, like, the first track, uh, first stage you ever learned to two cycle. So I guess it's not, just does, it's not purposeless. I'll be bobbing along the music. <laughs> Not that you're saying that it's a bad thing. Ah, oh, yeah. All right, less than five seconds. I probably should continue my co my commentary now that I'm actually that I'm actually starting the run for real again. I'm, I'm now out of the autopilot zone. Ooh, that was not bad at all. Uh oh. Yeah, that was gonna crash. Uh, let's cut my losses and just go for the secret sponsor. Like I could, I could try to get that sign, but it's just not worth it. I'd have to spend way too much acceleration just trying to get over there. And I'm probably going to go through the, uh, the snowmobile anyway. Even if it isn't optimal. I don't know why sometimes it's really easy to get that rock and sometimes it's not. That's gonna make it for sure. We're getting right out the haze hop with this one. I just wanted to say something funny. I'm like, for the heck of it. There's the hawk bonk, bonk I needed. I really don't need to do both of them. But I'm gonna anyway. Just to give myself that extra leeway. I've not had a run leave Kirkwood, so I'll take the safety of just an extra attempt. And the moose is right here, so like it's not like it'll cost me that much time. All right, slow down. Yes, sir. Now I can just go straight for speed. I just want to go. For, I just wanted to go the secret sponsor route because I genuinely think that is the fastest route you can. But my dumbass gotta just go off the cliff at weird angles and land straight into the wall. 
Uh-oh. Um, my ability to finish the run in time is now in jeopardy. If I don't make it out of Kirkwood because I crashed twice, that will be sad. A sloppy landing. Big storm coming in. I was fine. Six seconds. Still, not my best Kirkwood. But you know what? I would be surprised if I ever see another best Kirkwood. Maybe not that, but Kirkwood is very obviously my worst. That's the stats I feel like for that moment. Go back to Aspen and let's do some... Let's see if I can finally get that gold split I've been trying for Aspen, now that I've changed my route a little. Actually, you know what? I think I already got it. I think I got it last run. I feel like I've warmed up to it more. I feel like I've warmed up to being called adorable more. But like... Eh, no, no, you're still right. <laughs> This is a weirder one, but I got it on the first try, and that's something. I think it should still have um, potential. But no, um, I, I don't know how to react to it. You're right. Uh, that, there's, there's no sugarcoating it. That is just how it is. Um, I think that's partially just due to my asexuality, where it's like... I don't know how to feel about people being attracted to me. Or... I know I know being called cute or adorable isn't necessarily a sign of attraction. But like... It's still just like a Venn diagram that my brain doesn't normally think of. That didn't count? Oh, shoot. Uh, well. No, don't turn around. Oh, fuck. Bruh, I'm resetting an Aspen? What the hell is that? I mean, okay. To be fair, I was going for risky strats every single run as I was doing Aspen. I definitely have a much safer way of doing Aspen if I really want to. But I was just on too much of a roll to not want to go for the risky strats every time. Do I know of rage queuing? I can't say that I do. Hello, Windows. Thank you for telling me about the virus and threat protection summary and making that very audible to the audience. <laughs> also, <laughs> also, how's it going? Uh, I'm just gonna call you Travis. Hopefully that's good with you. Um, <laughs> welcome to the stream. I am currently attempting world record. Um, for this game that I grew up with and made the speedrun page for because my man Green Pirate Bird showed up on the scene absolutely trashed my old record and um, has kind of been high key guiding me towards strats that I may try to contest him with um, it can be when, the, when you don't suffer from like really basic things that you feel like you should be better with. But I love how this game feels. It's a very good speed game. In terms of just playing casually, this game kind of sucks because everything is unreasonably cryptic to figure out. But once you know the game, it's really fun to route and um, 
to route and actually do a run of. Even though it is like really harsh and if you make any mistake, you're actually like setting yourself up to um, if you like make any like major mistakes, then you have to reset the entire run. It's a pretty harsh run, but it's fun and I still like it. Okay, very nice. I need a really good combo because I have not gotten six score yet. Alright, well I guess I'm going this route now. Uh, I'm gonna have to just see that in a sec. Okay. Um, refuse to elaborate and left. Love that, huh? Um, I think I missed the first part of the message. Heck. Um, chat's actually moving at a speed where I'm having trouble keeping up with it for, uh, for the first time today. I no don't normally expect that during my Tony Hawk. Sean Palmer's speed runs. Uh-oh. I got chairlifted. That's hilarious. <laughs> Alright. Um, here's the thing. I don't watch a lot of Mario 64 content these days. I mentioned it in one of, on one of Simple Flips videos, but I've kind of distanced myself from the community. Um, Simple Flips is the one I watch the most, but at this point I really don't watch a lot just because I'm not I'm partially because I, I as I have tried to distance myself from Mario 64 I've kind of dipped out a little bit of interest for the game someday I think I'll, I'll return to speedrunning it myself um, but I think for now that is not what's on my menu as much anymore because I think back when I was doing that oh wait hold on we're about to hear the best song on the soundtrack So good. <laughs> Chipsel turned one of the most forgettable songs in the soundtrack and made it one of the most hyped songs ever. I fucking love Chipsel. I forgot to split. Hilarious. Um. Like, this song is, like, the normal version of this song is so just, like, sl it's, like, slow? But, like, the tempo is still the same, but it's so just, like, nonchalant about everything. And then Chipsel takes that structure and then hypes it up to all hell. If I do return to Mario 64 speedrunning, I would really love to do more Yoshi speedruns, because I really did like controlling Yoshi in Mario 64. That was a niche that I found extremely fun. Even if it did mean that, uh... Even if it did mean that I lost wall jump in the process... It was fun, and it changed the way I played the game. And it turns like, and it turns what's normally like some of like the biggest like restrictive parts of a normal Mario 64 speed run, and makes it just like kind of second nature. Wiggle out a little. Arma Hexblade. I cannot say I've heard of them. Oh my god, what was that? I forgot what I was doing. Oh no. I can, well, um, I can always just go for signs as the backup. Or I can go back, back down the track a second time. I think I'll go for the sign does the... What the fuck was that grind? Hello? Am I going to die? Why didn't you grind? I hate this rail so fucking much. Why are you like this? Jesus Christ, I hate this rail. I really should reset this run. I really should. 
I'm resetting the run. I'm resetting the run. I hate this goddamn rail. Fuck Kirkwood. Whoever designed this whoever designed this track hates the player. Just fucking rails don't work. Stuff put directly in your path, like I I have I just wanna talk to whoever designed this stupid track. Okay, player, so you, she goes out. Uh, she hasn't hit it before. She's gonna try again next stream. Wish her the best of luck with that. They really are. All right. I think Bird's been here the whole time. My observation of how Bird exists as a Twitch is as a Twitch chatter is that they're usually just there the whole time, but they just very they just suddenly go into spouts of lurking. I forgot to set the timer. Whoops. Uh oh. That worked out. The worst part about Kirkwood is not that the, is not the fact that you have to you have to reset your progress for Kirkwood, <coughs> but the fact that you have to have this you have to take the walk of shame down Donners. At least. We got Chipsel's bangers to keep us company. All right. Six score achieved. All right, so I'm Pretty much good for the rest of this. Wonderful. And this before I crash and make a fool of myself. Why is my knee so sore all of a sudden? Let's rest it on top of my leg. I think that'll be better. I believe we're already on zone three for record dancer music. Again. Uh, I played through a beta release of Sean Palmer the other day. Collectibles were in considerably more BS locations. How the hell did you get your hands on a beta copy? That just exists out there? I kind of want to. I hear I hear a more bullshit version of Sean Palmer. That sounds like that'd be fun. If they're like actually like different, that is. Like if it's more so that they're in the same spots, but just like offset in like really weird ways, that's one thing, but that sounds interesting. to play Cadence of Hyrule? Hell yeah. If you get into Necrodancer, you just gotta be patient. 
It was archived a few years ago, actually. Um, hang on. Let me get off this rail before I finish reading that. Um, no. No, I'll go with it. It's fine. It's it's Kirkwood. It's Kirkwood. I don't need I don't need to be perfect. It's Kirkwood. I can easily make up that extra score if I need to. Uh oh. Bro, I'm just gonna reset this. Alright. August 2001 pre released version demo. It has Donner's. Uh, it has Donner's and Aspen. So it doesn't have any of the others? It's just Donner's and Aspen? Yeah, that was never gonna work. Oh, the controls were, be were still being polished? Interesting. I'll have to check that out sometime. I had no idea that something like that could even exist in the wild. Especially for how niche this game is. Really cool that 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 you can that that exists though. I mean, yeah. Look, there's a small part of me that's just like, but like, there's a small part of me that's like, okay, but like, alternate universe version of the game that makes you take completely different lines throughout the entire thing. Like, that sounds cool as hell. Like that's like that's ba like that just sounds like a Kaizo version of this game, which is just like maybe not Kaizo, but like I don't know what the I don't know how what a good way to describe it. That's um, it's kind of. I guess it's, I guess a better comparison would be like the um no that, that's, that's not a good comparison either. I don't know. I'm losing. I'm losing my train of thought. I think I already got you, but I'm gonna do it again. Yeah. It's the sign I was missing. I knew I was missing something from the top layer. Okay. Do I have the logos? Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take the wildlife uh take the extra time on the wildlife just to make sure I get them. Okay, chat is booming. I'm sorry, chat. I am a little focused at the moment. I'll get to you in a sec. Alright. Um. To make it an actual Kaizo. <laughs> I feel like that would be much harder than you than you than uh you give it credit for. Oh yeah, this is love this. Um, SMO Superstar Mode, casual. yeah, Superstar Mode, that's a, that's a good, that's basically what I was looking for. Master Quest, that, that's the comparison I was like specifically looking for, that was the one that was on tip of my tongue, but that I lost. What the hell, that was a clothesline? One thing I love about gaps in this game is that they almost immediately fill your special gauge. Like that is so nice. You just you just take the right line and then immediately get rewarded. I never confirmed for real for 100% certainty if the special gauge increases your top speed, but I'm pretty damn confident it does. <laughs> that was a minute slower, Kirkwood. 
I genuinely don't care. Kirkwood's my least favorite stage. I'm just always happy to get past it. Whoops, that's not... That's not Aspen. My menuing is floundering. I doubt Birds tested that like completely one to one. But in terms of what I feel, like in terms of game feel, I can I can notice the difference whether or not it's a placebo or not. I'm pretty confident in my claim. That was never documented online, so you went and found it. I didn't know that I didn't know that uh, anyone had ever filled out the gap list as a thing. That was one idea I had for a category on this game, is doing all of the gaps as like a absolute like bonus level of completion, but um, I've never really known how to begin in terms of actually finding gaps. That's never been something I've been a special, I've been, uh, I've had a real specialty in. If we're at a point to where we know all the gaps, I kind of do want to make that category. That'd be fun, but difficult. Ah, uh, no copy. No early copy. It mentions you go faster when the special is maxed out. See, I never read that anywhere, but I could just tell from the game field. Alright. Well, Kaki already confirmed it, so you don't need to anymore. I was asking about the special gauge and if it does, in fact, increase top speed. Which we now know. I was pretty confident that it did. I was like all but certain. But there's the actual confirmation. It's in the manual. That is the truth. Uh oh. I don't know how I still landed that. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm getting ahead of myself. This is gonna be a weird Aspen split. <laughs> The clutch bonk didn't come in clutch. The clutch bonk bonk didn't clutch. Uh, I hope that I can get to the other coffee stand before the timer runs out. Would hate to have to menu again. I don't care if some of these earlier splits are bad. I just want more practice on the later levels, and I don't want to just do individual level runs. Hey, watch it! All right, that's all but the three, yeah? Yes. This is gonna be such a weird split. Bro, what is going on? What are these weird ass lines I'm taking? What the fuck was that? I jumped over the branch? What is this Aspen, brother? Like, it's nothing run-ending, but it's like, really? This is where I'm going to lose, like, a nominal amount of time? At least I got the, at least I got that grind. Sometimes I can take the tree. Again? Why am I missing the fucking gondola bonk? What the hell? That's normally something I'm, like, 100% consistent at. All right, deep breath, Teach. It'll be fine. Should I be concerned? I don't think so. Just do your thing. You'll get there. So right about here. That's better. That's the Teach I know.
Okay. Yeah, that's... I don't know how I feel about it. I'm gonna be two minutes. I mean, these are my best splits. I shouldn't get discouraged from my best splits. I'm not always gonna have the insane run like I did earlier today, where I'm getting gold after gold after gold. Look at me, I've learned my lesson and I'm no longer taking that one rail and smashing into the random street sign. Where I really need to save time is in the later levels. That's where I'm really bleeding time right now. Uh oh, don't do that. Don't do that either. I didn't even max out my speed on the last one. That's a little bit, um, that's a little bit, whoops. I think probably the biggest contribution that I think your runs have given me, Green, um, have been in Heavenly. Just your setup for the cranes is so consistent and it's a level of safety that I would not normally have the restraint to, um, <laughs> to go for. Um, to just do the cranes and then reset. And... I mean... All you have to do is just... All you have to do is just hit the reset button early. It's not that hard. Getting the cutscenes, but you can get the cutscene skip on the first and second ones just by uh, staying in its range from your range for long enough. The third one, you just gotta reset. Can you please turn around? Thank you. It's not that hard though. Just gotta do that. Unless you like are committed to doing no retry, which I used to be, and that used to kill some a pretty good amount of runs in um in heavenly but i i don't remember the last i have not uh had to reset a run in heavenly yet ever since i've started adapting the early the uh early retry for the cranes you didn't think of it i'm pretty sure you lit i thought you literally did that in your world record I could have sworn you literally did that in your world record. I dead ass swear I, I, that you did that in your world record. If that if I didn't get that from you, where the hell did I get that from? What did I watch that bait that influenced me to start doing that? Unless you just don't even remember your own strategies. I don't know. It's definitely not a faster strategy, but it's a way more consistent strategy. I might hit the wall here, but that's, that'll, be, that'll still be fine. No wall. Alright, cool. God dang it. I mean, it's not like that far back. It probably, it probably only save, um, it probably only save about like five, maybe 10 seconds over just taking the lift, but it's way more risky because if you make any mistakes along the way, you have to completely reset. Because if you try to do everything in li uh, without a reset in Heavenly, um, you are setting yourself up to... What am I trying to say? How am I doing? Wait, huh? Oh, idle. That's right. Yeah. 
Um, Heavenly, if you try to do everything in one cycle, like aside from like one goal for the speed, um, you're really limited on, on the amount of time you have. So it's a it's a really huge risk for a pretty it's not a non-negligible reward. It's definitely one it's definitely like worth something, but it's not as good as it could be. This is not gonna be a personal best heavenly, but it'll be it'll certainly be a ru a run continuing Henley. Henley? Heavenly. Alright. Snowbird! The run killer itself. Here we go. I've been getting better at Snowbird, though. I've been building a consistency on Snowbird. And I got through it both times that I got to it today, so... I'm gonna max out my, my, uh, my landing, because Snowbird is where that shit is most important. Uh, did you know that there's small signs in Palisades with complete gibberish text? I mean, it doesn't surprise me that that's gibberish text, considering that there's, like, low-res graphics. It makes sense that they just kind of throw nonsense on there. didn't feel good, but I, it worked. I would continue the combo there, but we have more important things to do. No, that didn't, that didn't bonk. Dang it. Ah, you're kidding me. Get me down from here. I'm running out of time. I could really use a double bonk right now. Oh my god. Ask and you shall receive. I'm pretty sure I got the look already. I hope I did. If I didn't, then I'm a failure to myself. Also, very fitting song for this, uh, for this level. Oh, I hate, I forgot that has collision. I really don't even think I need a double bonk, but wow, did it help. That's fine. I really don't want to go in that again. I think I might have fucked up, actually. I think I may have fucked up. Um, I was supposed to go through the shorter warp. 
I am not going to be able to cycle this. Am I missing any? I am missing both logos and snowmen. I might have given myself the ultimate um, reset snowbird. The classic TJ special of committing to too much and not aligning yourself where you need to be for them. At least let me fin finish the logos and snowmen. I don't care if I get the I, the secret sponsor. I what the f why is that there? Why would you make that? What is fucking wrong with you? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I would be surprised if there is a way to get that snowman while holding this combo. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? You can't make this shit up. Not that it really helps me though, because I did I did miss the secret sponsor, which means I do have to do a full run again. But um, you can only ask for so much in this hellhole that is Snowbird. Nothing ever works exactly the plan, Snowbird. And the day where everything does will be a day very worth celebrating. I don't- I really don't need to be doing all this shit. Okay, I'm doing this now. Alright. Sloppy landing. middle and I have the setup now I have the consistent setup that makes trams always work but that still does not make snowbird like anywhere close to easy What the hell? Um, that's weird. I've never seen that happen before. It just didn't align me with the with the rail. What the fuck? I don't think this run's going very far. I mean, it might be a PB. It, it could be a PB. But. I might change what I'm comparing against, just to get an idea of what I'm looking at. Is it the equals? Yeah. Damn, is this really compared against my world record? Um, no. What the hell am I comparing against here? I think this is average? I am even more lost than I was before. What is this comparing against? Because that's certain... Oh, wait, no, it's 54. I don't know how I read that as 59. But, um... No, this is comparing against my, against my PB. Um... Alright. Get up, shake it off. Trooper, you got a little ways to go. I was done with this level four minutes ago in my PB. I guess I'm really putting all of my faith into being able to do better um, in Mount Hood. 
because Mount Hood really destroyed my run last time. And I guess I also, on top of that, need to really perform well in, uh, in, in Squaw or Palisade. Music sync, though. Yo, Golden Brawler, thanks for the raid. I am currently doing world record attempts at Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarder for the PlayStation 2 released in 2001. I think that's the year. Um, I've had some pretty good runs today. This one is okay. Um, I say with a lot of copium, but like, I just kind of want to run that goes somewhere. So I'm continuing this one, despite the fact that it's really not ideal. That's, that's what, that's what we're seeing. I'm going to be zooming around. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I think that's an official reset. Because that is, I missed the thing that allows me, actually, you know what? I can still make that work if I pair the bonk with the uh, with the towers. I'm gonna be saying a lot of nonsense today. Uh, I'm that's gonna not really make sense out of context. Don't even worry about it. Ooh, I forgot how good the chipsel version of death metal is. Fuck, that's good. Missed that. That would have been devastating. That's fine. I really don't need to be perfect. I just want to fix my mistakes. Why didn't that bonk? Why didn't you bonk? It's over, lads. Not with a palisade like that. <laughs> Very nice. Act 1 Divinity. I'm pretty sure that's Final Fantasy, ain't it? No, that's not. I'm pretty sure that's not, actually. I take back what I said. I'm, I'm, I'm incorrect. <laughs> Man. I'm gonna keep attempting. I can go at least till three. I will turn on the fan though. It actually has gotten quite hot in here. These runs actually are making me sweat. <laughs> All right, let's try again. I mean, we have gotten through all of the actual zones. Oh, never mind. Um, this playlist doesn't have the full actual set. Unless I'm crazy. Yeah, I don't see a I don't see a five three in this playlist. Chipsel. You left your playlist incomplete. Um, all right. What? In spirit of, I think it was Kami who was talking about wanting to play uh, Necrodancer, but 
for now just sticking to, to Cadence of Hyrule. Why don't we do some Cadence of Hyrule? Change it up a, a bit. Um, I'll put this one on shuffle because unlike Necrodancer, Cadence of Hyrule doesn't have a specified order of music. All right, and we can enjoy some nice, oh, I forgot to, to, to start the timer. So you know what that means. It's 6.30, I'll, I'll go to the rest, uh, to rest now. Take care and good luck. Thank you, Kahi, thank you for being here throughout most of this stream. I appreciated having your company. It genuinely meant a lot and Appreciate you. I don't know how. To, I don't know how else to say. Um, stop calling me cute. <laughs> don't get world record while you sleep. Well, which is it? Are you wishing me good luck, or do you want me to get world record, or do you not, or do you want me to keep the world? <laughs> you refuse. Damn it. <laughs> Foiled again. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot, uh, bird. I I'll be honest. Um, I was talking in the moderator chat for Sean Palmer, um, and um, which is pretty much just me pray for Dave and um, and Davey Crockett. Um, there's really, I don't really know what the criteria for moderators are at this point. Just those two have been like the other two like active for people, so it's very likely that I just indoctrinate you into into the, into that into that uh, group chat as well. But I was talking with them, and I was talking with them in that group chat, and um, I was talking about, I was telling them that um, with me like very noticeably being able to identify like a very different style of play from me that uh and just seeing the strategies you've adapted entirely on your own that i was like very like absurdly confident that like nothing that there was nothing even suspicious about your run despite how quickly you took uh world record from me like it just was very believable um but i was also talking about just how um just how much I've enjoyed having you having you in my streams and um, the fact that you're just willing to share some of the knowledge that you know that I don't <laughs> like that's genuinely incredibly honorable of you and I appreciate that um, I appreciate having my world record taken by someone who is so chill about it and it's it's cool And I, I, the other thing I mentioned was that I want to take back world record, if for no other reason than to give you so, than to uh, than to give you a bit of competition, because you st you stepped onto the scene and it was clear from the get go that you were a level above me, and I want to get up to that same level uh, with grit, and determination. I mean, active is, I wouldn't say the community is active, it's mostly just me, um, but the other two did take notice of the fact that you got world record and stuff, but I have not seen them mention doing runs in a while, it's just, and the game was inactive when you showed up, and it's just that when I see someone take my world record, I at least want to try and take it back. <laughs> But I have been known to give up if I if I do not succeed. <laughs> also, I respect that grind, Travis. <laughs> a very good example of the time when I gave up a grind was. Uh, we were talking about my Mario 64 ties earlier. Uh, ironically enough, when 
um, Simple Flips took the took the world record away from me for beating Yoshi, uh, beating Super Mario 64 with the Yoshi Custom character. Like when he when he took that from me and I couldn't take it back, I just kind of did give up. And I that's there's no sugarcoating it. That's exactly what that's exactly how it was. All right, that worked somehow. That was awkward as all hell, but sure, I'll go with it. I almost hit my head on the ceiling. What is? What are these lines? I'm getting a little silly. Kirkwood is getting to my brain. Nice. I was able to redirect my path. Nice and easy. That is a massive... Yeah, I overshot it. Okay. We'll just have to gain back that speed. And... That's hilarious when that happens. It doesn't happen very often, but it's always really funny when it does. That was a crash! Man. I hate, I hate early game stats. I almost crashed there, I could tell. Thankfully, I got those logos. Big storm coming in. If I really wanted to, like, really push for a better, uh, for a better, I would reset as soon as I get this sign. But I'm not doing that because I don't want to reset in Kirkwood for like the fourth time this stream. I'm gonna do things the long, the long but safe way. Sec. Okay, and I'm resetting. All right. Uh, if the game, uh, if the game allowed, I would have definitely tried a zero stats run. That would be cool. That's not gonna work. You know what? It could have worked. I don't know what I'm getting, what I'm beating myself up over. It literally could have. I just didn't give it a shot. I'm too trigger happy to just like say, nope, this ain't gonna work, and then just pull the plug. No. Just fucking feel it out. If you don't take the same route as always, you're gonna be fine. Chill out. Alright. There we go. That's perfect. Now, let's not mess up the owl ball. Stop and the bunk. All right. Well, that was a little bit of an awkward line, but hey, I got the bunk. I'm getting out of Kirkwood with this one, assuming that I don't get like really dumb like rail physics happening or something. Um, like almost happened. Kirkwood always has a trick up its sleeve. When you think you're in the clear, it finds some new rail to just completely close line with. And even with all that, I only beat the time by five seconds. A zero stats run would generally be really interesting. It would be hard as hell. All right, Holly, speed, landing. All right. Wonderful. This one ain't doing it for me, I'll be honest. Cadence of Hyrule has low points. But there's also some hella high points. Can we not with the puppet? Okay, I've decided that I don't I don't particularly like these versions of the tracks. Even though I recognize the synth it's using and it's, it's funny reference, um, it's not doing it for me 
on this instance. So what I'm gonna do is when I have a moment where I can autopilot a bit, I am going to redirect. Okay, well a crash is a moment of autopilot. Let's go let's go here and redirect to an A rival track. Watch my latte. It's not an automaton. It's actually like it's a VST plugin. I think I'm, if I'm if I'm correct, it's a VST plugin known as Dalai Lama, and it's it's a funny meme, but <laughs> I don't like how it sounds. All right, fuck it. I'm thirsty for that gold split. Let's uh. You already know I'm obsessed with it. Back with another milkshake. By which I mean the run's over. I probably could just make it work. But I... I... I'm... You know, I don't know why I had to reset the whole thing. I could have just gone down the slope a second time. Kept my... You know... Your boy ain't smart. Your boy ain't always the smartest. I already got the secret sponsor, so I don't so I can just take a direct route to the next yuppie and it'll be fine. But I feel very silly. I almost hit him. I almost actually hit him. That's crazy. Alright, let's try this again. That's better. Get off the mountain! I do not have the setup for six score yet. So why don't we change that? I've barely been lacking on this. That was enough to crash? Brother in all Christ. I didn't even mean to say that, but I did. I don't know. Does it really matter? I don't know. Probably. To a lot of people it would. I don't normally like to go that direction with my swearing. Even if I'm not religious myself, I know other people don't like it. Whereas, like, normal sw normal swearing, I think people are more, like, generally open to. But, like, some people just don't like it. I don't know. At least I didn't say a slur. Yeah. But, like, even then, slip, slip of the tongues happen. It's not, like, just saying... I mean, I guess people treat it that way. You're kidding me! Okay. Okay, that's fine. I just will have to make a really good effort during this um, speed attempt. Alright. Not off to a great start with that. And we're already resetting again. This is the worst Aspen in years. Has to leave the building immediately. Man prepares worth speed run. Dies in Aspen. Has to leave the building immediately. <laughs> I'm gonna find a different playlist and probably actually cut go in order this time. Just so that we don't get more of the weird the weird nonsense. Well then again, if we do that, then we won't ever get Synth Robo. 
I'll find a different playlist that doesn't have that if I can. My groove was destroyed by the by the Dalai Lama. Playlist, there we go. That's what we're looking for. What do we got? That's combat tracks, that's shopkeeper tracks. Pause tracks. Um most of these are just This looks better. Does this have the does this one have the uh is this the playlist that has the DLC as well? Pebble Storms. Okay, I saw Necrodancer in that list. Alright. Let's let's switch the switch gears to this version. This one's also gonna have shopkeeper versions, but that's better that, but that's not Dalai Lama, so that's good enough for me. Alright. This is probably gonna be my last run. I mean assuming I get out of Kirkwood. So we'll see how that goes. Whoops, that's too early. We'll, we'll find out. I'll, I'll, I'll play it by feel. I know when it's time to stop, and I will find what that is. Let's do this. I'm getting impatient, I almost crashed because of it. This line is, but uh, it's something. Something's happening. All right. What the the fuck? I only got pro score, so that's still a valid reset. According to the rules, that myself. Dave and um, and I guess I guess I just not realized two of the four <laughs> two of the four runners for this game are Dave because there's pray for Dave and then there's Dave Crockett huh okay well that's 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 full game runners because I keep forgetting that people actually run the other categories or at least there's like one or two people who have and by other categories I mean individual level and um, and the um, world tour category that someone made up. Um, I thought this one didn't have the puppet. God damn it, I've been deceived. The playlist was shorter. I thought we didn't have to deal with this. I only briefly looked over it. All right, we're aborting this. I'm gonna find something else. I have frustrated myself. I have played myself. All right. I need to get to a point where I can autopilot again. I think we specify that in the like game rules listing, and if it and if we don't, then that needs to, then I should change that. But we have we have made that clarification that if you've only done the border and pro score for a Donner's run, you are good to reset because they are effectively overwritten by the uh, by six score. I mean, that is of course, if you've not applied any like stat boost or anything, which I don't even know if you unlock stat boost for that. Like as <laughs> you can reach, you can do the reset button, but you cannot do anything else. probably already knew all of that, but I felt the need to be extra verbose, just in case. Alright. 
Well, now I am going to be on autopilot for a sec. So let's go find something else to... You know, I'll do it on a little screen. For now, we can just... We can just have a moment of silence. Just let things... Just let the air clear out on its own. I guess in the meantime, I can think about what OST I want to put on next. Might just go back to Necro to like regular Necro Dancer again, or I might go for Mario Kart. You know what? I'm feeling in the mood for Mario Kart 64. Let's do some Mario Kart 64. That might be. That that's a very good soundtrack and does not miss. All right. not over. Alright, All right, let's get out of here. Um, let's go actual soundtrack, not like all the bonus sound effects and stuff, so this is probably what we're looking for. Alright. A little, a little trip down memory lane. Mario Kart 64 is probably the first game I ever played. Like, as I think about it, it very well could have been. That's a score for sure. Yes, sir. Immediate six score. Love that. I love the Mario Kart 64 organ. Like, it's such a specific sound. It's, it's so nice. Uh-oh. I have too much speed. I fixed it, though. I have more than enough points for now. I can just do my thing. Why'd I do that? I don't know, but it worked out. I didn't shuffle it this time, but that's fine. I'm, I'm cool with this going in order. This song, for no reason at all, is a lot quieter than the last one. That's what you get for looking up OSTs on YouTube. You will have a very, you have all sorts of varying quality. Big storm coming in. Big storm coming in. Uh oh. Uh, I didn't like that bonk. I didn't like it at all. It worked out though, so don't. If you were worried. Stop that. Now I could. Uh, it's too. It's too convenient. Okay, I take back everything I said about. You know what? No, I can still make the tractor. I don't think it'll be worth it, but I would rather just rest assured that I have everything set up and get two attempts at the moose ball. I would rather just have that wall of, of safety while I continue to lose runs to Kirkwood. This stage was made in hell. Thankfully the tractor takes you right to the moose. But not at a great angle, I'm realizing. But I think it'll be fine. No, it will not. All right. Ah. This is gonna be the slowest Kirkwood of all time, but at least it still will be two cycle, right? It'll be two cycle, right? I wouldn't. You wouldn't do anything stupid like fuck up the two cycle, right, TJ? You will have one responsibility and one responsibility alone, and that is to bonk the animals. That's all you have to do. That is the only thing you have to do, TJ. Surely, that's not too much to ask. Get over here, and all you gotta do 
is hit this barrel and then align to the right. And then jump. There you go. Now do the same thing for the hawk. Tony the hawk. Alright. The hawk has been scared. And you crashed. Okay. Well, that's still... Look, it'll still get you out of it. It'll still get you out of this hellhole. As long as you don't make any, like, massive mistakes. You'll get there in time. Or at least you should in theory. Just keep moving. You'll get there. Don't panic. You're, you fucked it up. You fucked it up. You fucked it up, lad. Alright, maybe magic number 250 will be the one. Fuck Kirkwood, man. This map is... This is a Mario Kart Wii custom track. Dead ass. Ah, my back is in pain. Lucky number 250. We'll get there and it'll be rad. It would be hilarious if I fucking crashed on the first ramp on my 250th attempt. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> Alright, let's turn off that fan. It's nice and, it's nice and cooled off in here. No! Alright, let's do it. Alright, not the best, but hey, it'll do. That was ugly this mount. I should probably go back to the game against my my sum of best. Maybe. Eh. It would take the pressure off, but I feel like it won't give me as good of an idea of how I'm doing. Alright. You can tell my heart's not in it. <laughs> or at least not yet. What several rounds of donors will do to a man. What the hell? How did I get that weird angle? I don't know, but hey, I worked it out. I almost fucked that up. Yeah, boy, I almost fucked that up. Um, why do I suddenly have the urge to uh, pull up a Civic on the playlist? Oh, I should have thought of that. That would have been a good idea. Another time. I guess I, I guess the, I guess the bigger reason is just that I don't have like a reliable Siva Gunner playlist to go to. I I could always go to that one person's unironically good Siva Gunner um, play, uh, rips playlist, but even that one I feel it can be pretty inconsistent. I just kind of have some like miscellaneous favorites I have sprinkled around and. There's not really any rhyme or reason to how I think of them. 
so there's not really a reliable way to listen to them. Wow, slower. Alright. I mean, who cares? Oh yeah, I did kind of crash. That probably would do it. Oh wait, did I go back to some of Best again? No. Because that would be lower than 40. Yeah. Alright. Now TJ. Maybe this time, consider not messing up the bonks. That might be a good idea. No. No other inner conscience, TJ. You make a valid point, but what if I did anyway? It is impossible not to feel at peace with this song. I don't know if there's a more relaxing song in the game. Oh, that was beautiful. Beautiful dismount. Do this caution sign and hard turn onto the mound here. Beautiful. That's everything we're looking for right there. We already have six score. Like we're we're vibing. This is everything we need. have very long silence at the end of it. Uh -oh. Okay, I thought I was going to go through the crack. song. Hopefully it's more on the relaxing side and less on the annoying side. Just fucking do it again. One reset isn't gonna be the end of the death of me. It'll be fine. At least you'd think. We'll find out in due time when I actually get to the bottom of the damn mountain and, well, see just what the damage is. Yeah, Spunk that deer. Or Caribou. I, I can never... I, I, I come up with all sorts of names for it. It's the low-poly vegetation-eating animal. Yes, sir. Alright. Let's get down to that bottom of the mountain. And, uh... That rail almost got me. 
That rail almost got me yet again. I fucking hate this track. <laughs> you can hear the Mario Kart player in me calling them tracks. And also, probably the fact that I'm singing Mario Kart music. <laughs> uh, I cracked myself. Oh, whoops, I accidentally jumped. Let's, uh, let's back that up. Just a sec. What the heck? Why can't I back up the... Not back up the split? There we go. Now we can. Alright. It is very off sync, but it'll have to do. Alright. Then we'll do some balance, some landing. Alright. Back to Aspen. I haven't, had, I haven't had a run get to Snowbird in a while. Let's see if that changes. That'd be cool. This lower tops. Oh my god! Bud! What the hell was that? You need that damn secret sponsor, son! How are you supposed to get anywhere in life without getting sponsored by the shadow government? That's that's what we're going with now. That's that's the board. I decided that just now. I don't make the rules, except for the fact that I literally do. I have made the speedrun page, it's my page, it's my rules. That is what I have decided, because I am on an anecdote of uh, non-sequitur variety, which means that everything I say um, does not apply, and that I am just being a silly little lad, um, pretending to be a squirrel on the internet, and feeling insult when someone beats my be, uh, beats the game faster than me um, the, the 2001 game <laughs> that, 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 that's the, that, that, that's, the, that's the whole joke is that I'm just over explaining stuff <laughs> Watching people face counterintuitive <laughs> Let's do this correctly. Yes, sir. You get off the mountain. This is my mountain now. You do not get to be here. Leave. I will send you a restraining order to your house, and then I, and then uh, you will be sued and go to prison. That is how it is. All right. Tony the Hawk and Shadow <laughs> and Shadow Government is official Sean Palmer lore. <laughs> I'm glad that you are as as embracing of my uh, as my, uh, of my in jokes as you are. Ooh, the nice maneuver RNG, love that. <laughs> another stupid, another another tradition I have with speedrunning this game is um, I take the the male NPC saying nice maneuver as a sign of good luck because it's the only nice thing these these characters ever say to you even though he is more than likely being sarcastic we take whatever compliment we can get <laughs> all right Back up plan it is. So this probably will not be a gold split, but it'll be it'll be okay. Or it won't be. Oh, and I'll crash right into the gondola. Wonderful. Uh 
All right. There. Wonderful. Yeah, I can bring it down. I'm sorry. My voice is just too loud, as I have been told. So, with noise complaints, I shall now be trying to keep the volume down lower. Oh, hell yeah. Choco Mountain. Oh, nice maneuver. My muscle memory just always makes me want to jump over. But we got nice maneuvers, so that means that good things are about to happen, right? That is what that means. And nothing else. Bro, I lost a minute on Aspen. That was the most efficient route I could have taken. Alright. What are we looking at? Alright. So we're now on to Kirkwood. Wait, not, not Kirkwood. Heavenly. That's the one that's next. told me that they're annoyed by my singing yet, so I will continue until, until someone tells me to stop. <laughs> and I will do so at whatever leisure I so desire. I don't know why I'm still doing so many tricks. I am literally going hey, in, getting the cranes, and leaving. That is the point of this particular run. That is all this run is. That's all it needs to be. Or I could, like, really try to overachieve, but no. We're, we're sticking to the plan. Plan is simple. And we're not at the point to where we need to time save that badly yet. And if I do it well enough, hey, it will be a time save. So, how about that? Save. Why did I? Why did I insist on resetting? That's a that's a silly thing to to have done there, Teach. There was literally no reason to do that. You could have just taken the chairlift, gone back down to the hill, and activated the, the crane naturally. You could have. You could have done that, Teach. Uh. All right. Now we get to watch the cutscenes twice. I'll be great for the run, I'm sure. But you know what else would be great for the run? That perfect snowboard we're gonna get there. That's gonna be rad as hell. Alright, there it is. Try that again. Okay, I missed that first logo, but that's like the one of the only parts of the track that I tread twice, so it'll be fine. I missed a secret sponsor. Guess that means I'm cutscene skipping. Uh, anything else that I that I need to know about? Um. Or we will certainly find out. This is gonna be a little messy. That is the simple, unavoidable fact. But hey, even if I'm behind on my compared to my other time, I still have all of Heavenly and 
uh, not heavenly. I still have all of Gotcha Glacier and Mount Hood Meadows that I can just do way better. So it's fine. take a little bit of an unfortunate method here. But at least now I'm focused and not fo and not doing score stuff, so it should be nice and easy. And hey, doing the idle this way means I get to cutscene skip, so it's not even that bad of a thing. It won't be faster. That that none of this will be faster. But it's something. Backup isn't that much worse, is all I'm trying to say. That much worse, but still worse. Ah, I didn't get the cutscene skip. Alright, now let's get down that hill as fast as we can, getting the secret sponsor along the way. That seems like a great idea. What is, what the hell is this? It's not that bad. Maybe, maybe don't, maybe, maybe don't put such an ass for yourself, Teach. No, well, very counterproductive when you call yourself an asshole in the sentence where you're trying to promote positive feeling. You're right. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> now that I'm done having a conversation, now that I'm done having a self-growth conversation with myself. Um, let's go kill this run. And by kill, I, liter I literally did mean that, as in, like, I'm gonna knock it out of the park with this one. Not in the sense of, like, oh, the run's dead, no. As in, I'm gonna absolutely just, just schmoove through the rest of this run and beat my PB. World record, I might need a little more practice for, but let's beat that PB. Alright. I lost another minute, but you know what could make up that minute? Really good snowbird. Alright. Put all that into landing, and a little bit into balance. Good to go. go to jail for killing it. <laughs> Man, this is a nice run, y'all. <laughs> and again, run not talking about the speed run, because um, it is a nice run. It's, it's not a was, It's the run is still very much here. Ignore the fact that I just smashed my face into the floor. going out the window? What did the drill ever do for me? We're getting this damn snowman. <laughs> Backup strats, baby. A sloppy landing, but we're getting where we need to be. Alright. 
We're gonna have to do a little bit of swerving here. But it'll all be worth it in the end. Whoever decided to place that uh, snowman, I would like a, a, a polite word with you. Oh, I'm too high up. Abandon. Aban okay, that's it. We're abandoning the. We're abandoning the snowmobile. We'll cover that later. And you know what? I can afford to do that because the trams can be partnered with that. I'm pretty sure. What cannot be partnered with it is this fucker right here. Oh boy. A little feisty, are we? Launch myself into that song. Hell yeah. Alright. Let's try this again. I'm gonna do it this way. I like this way better. This way it seems more consistent than trying to follow that rail. Secure our reward. The bag. Please get up the damn stairs. Lad, you're you're scaring me. That works. That works. That's that's good. What the hell was my snowbird earlier? All right. That we're done. not like that we're not Come on. That's more than enough for the score. Jump here. Get that. I did not think I was going to make that. Buddy? What does it take to bonk a damn snowmobile? Alright, now we're going around we're going around again. Lads, this may be it. Is the pro snowboarding going? I was very pro at the start. Um we have not been able to replicate it since. My performance has gone down the hill. And that is just the unfortunate truth of the matter. Maybe this run can still pick up somehow. I don't exactly know where if it could. Slow, bonk that snowmobile, and then beat it to the line, and you'll be good to go there for life. Holy shit! Right? 
hilarious, hilarious timing on, on this song. I think at this point in time, my only hope is to get like a really good, um, to get a really good mount hood, in addition to like a functioning, a functioning palisade. Um, do I have something I can just put on? Guess not. I was too slow, so we are playing in silence for a bit, lads. You can take in the beautiful night sky and um, the red that you'll see on the splits. that. Right. I'll stay up here so that we can just get straight onto that rooftop right there. What the hell? That's not supposed to happen. Alright, well we got six score already. just use that to our advantage and just go about our lives so nothing is wrong. Bonk. That's a, that's a good landing right there. That's how we... That's the setup, baby! Yes! The double whammy! Double dip. We do have to go up here again. That's the sad. That's the, that's the bad news. Uh, we have to go up here again. Get this guy. But like, hey, it's it's fine. Don't worry about it. Everything is perfectly fine. Until it is not. Survive that and that. And since we're already on this side, let's just do our thing. Bop. All right. So then we can find that and. Job off, nice, good. I'm not even gonna go for the secret sponsor. I'm gonna save that for the speed round because I want to make sure I get down to that bottom. I'm not worried about being able to get there in time, but I figure if I do this, I can make I can get a solid attempt at this out of the way. Um, you no, know that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I can still do that with the speed round. Um, this uh, ski resort it was formerly known as Squaw Valley. It's not currently in modern day, but back in 2001, that's, that's, what it was, that's what it was. That was the name of the location. And that is the gist of it. I would have music, I had music, but then I ran out and I don't have time to change it yet. Hopefully by the next area, I'll have a backup plan. Um, all right. 
everything is looking good for now. can go here and back and back and we are one step closer to the end and then we just gotta do this race but then do it correctly this time so no tom fuckery just your normal shit some precise movement Ooh, that was close. This looks like it'll be a gold. Nope, just a little faster though. Let's go back to Necro Dancer. Alright, yes sir, throw a little spin in there, fuck it, that's all good. Alright, this is our, this is essentially our last chance to, um, our last chance to fix what happened here. What am I trying to say? Um, this is our last chance to make this run viable. Let's go back to where we were. I stopped like very midway through. That's better. I feel back in my element already. Well, that was some weird adjustment I had to do, but it worked out in my favor. Got the jump, too. score, but alright. Alright. Yes, sir. Send us off with my favorite gap. Never mind. We're not doing that anymore. Um... Let's see if Helicopter Skip wants to cooperate today. Oh, I think we got it. Helicopter Skip, baby! Let's go! Oh, that's massive. Already off to a great start. Alright. I have no idea just how bad my last attempt at, um, at Mount Hood was. I know I had to reset like two or three times. I don't know if we'll have to have a repeat of that. Let's cut the power now. Fucking destroy that shit. Yep. Oh god. Um, never seen that before. That's new. That's a new one. Alright. Sure. I still got the logo though. Your attempts at... Okay. Well, you got me there. You got me by buffering my input, so... And you got me with the clothesline on the way down, too. Uh, but that's not gonna stop me. You know why? Because I'm... I'm... I'm the guy. I don't know, I'm... 
I don't know what I mean. Don't even worry about it. I'm the one who's gonna who's gonna set your heart free, tree. <laughs> knock, knock, it's knuckles. <laughs> You know what? No. Fuck it. I'm not going for that. I'm gonna go the other way around. Because the other method, I like this method better. Because the low speed that I get going into this sets me up, Evan. It just does. It just does. I'm actually be uh, behind pace in terms of... I think the only thing I have left to do is score. So that's a whoopsie on my part. Let me double check that. Yes, sir. All right, well, since I'm here, I might as well. Might as well finish it out nice and easy. I am at the part where it is easiest to accumulate score. So let's just do that. Do a little bit of spins and stuff. Bruh. Even with my freaking landing maxed out, that made me crash? What the fuck? Gap. Yes, sir. Easy addition to the multiplier. Why is my balance fucking up? Huh? Bro, I am... I'm squandering this. I could just give up and just go full score for the... for the speed. But, like... I don't have faith So I'm just gonna... I guess I'm just gonna just go for it. I don't know. I probably shouldn't be trying to, like, play it safe on a run where I'm already behind schedule. I'm giving up. I don't have time for this. I just gotta... I just gotta do it. I just gotta have a really solid score rundown. Okay, we're, we're, we're landing that. We're landing that shit right there. Yes, sir. That's halfway. One combo. Yes, sir. I have no idea if I'm on pace. I, f I always forget what the time is for this one. I really hope that I didn't take too long. Yes! Oh, finally! The Golden Mountain Hood split. It's real. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> All right. A solid, a solid Gotcha Glacier gets me out of this. Thank you so, thanks so much, Game Robbie TV. You are in the process of watching what could potentially be a PB. I had no idea I had that much time to save. Alright, um, I'm getting a little bit silly with this combo. Maybe I should just land it. Uh, well, too late for that. I'm committed to going for this G-transfer. Alright, well that's now, that is now handled. Let's just land this up here.
No! Okay, that puts a damper in my plans. I can revisit this, I'm pretty sure. I've almost... Why am I doing it this way? The G-transfer, TJ. The G-transfer, what are you doing? Why didn't the grind come out? I need to get off this surface. This thing is slow as hell. the G transfer at the top left. I can finish off logos pretty easy over here. Okay. You know what? I still have one more I still have one more roundabout to go. I haven't gotten the rest of the bridge. That's fine. I can do that later. Right? I believe there's no reason why I can't do it later. Jump here. That one. I still need 300,000 points. That shouldn't be too hard, but keep that in mind. <gasps> I messed up the last one? Oh no, that's a death sentence. Uh, that never happens. What does that mean for me? I think that means a whole other extra run. But you know what? My runs on Gotcha Glacier have not have been anything but efficient, so... Oh god. Uh, Alright, that's a manual now, I guess. Let's end that right now. Put a stop to that. I do want to keep my special meter if I can. I'm fighting for that special meter, my god. All right, let's fix the mistake I have made here. All right. Let's just land that. Six scores done. All right. So rail transfer to the right, rail transfer to the left, and that's transfer the D train. All right. Um, what can I still do? Um, I can retry. <laughs> yeah, this game is brutal for if you make mistakes. Take down that bridge. We've accepted this is a three cycle, that's fine. Just make it a fast three cycle. That's all we gotta do. You know what? Oh, this wasn't the plan, but now it is. Uh, no longer the plan. All right, let's try. Let's try my scuff strategy.
No, no, no. I'm gonna do this. And I'm no longer gonna do this. Alright. Uh, we have to reset. I fricked up. I messed up. Um, that's gonna be probably costing me my PB. But I did bring down the bridge. Okay. If I had to choose, I can pair one of them with the speed challenge. So I think that's definitely gonna be bring down the map. I just need to like get the right angle bonk when I do it. Like I'm not gonna be able to find the way out normally. Because I don't know where Bird sets it up. Uh-oh. What the hell is that? That's a really annoying air pocket. Um, we'll see. I don't think that I have enough speed to make this count. But if I do, the off chance that I do, I have to be done at 340. I have 15 seconds. If I can somehow... We're not open yet. No. <laughs> In my dreams. There is a universe where I'm able to pair Secret Sponsor. With the, with the speed challenge. There is a universe where that happens. But I sh there's no reason why I cannot pair the, um, the the billboard with the secret sponsor. Or sorry, not, not, not secret sponsor. The uh, speed challenge. That should be more than enough. Oh, that might not be enough, actually. Let's, let's, let's up, th let's up that, that point value a little. Make sure that we're actually ready for what we're committing to. Alright. Alright. Leap off to the left. Alright. Yes, sir. I just have to get to the bottom. This could be a PD. I have 15 seconds. Oh, it's gonna be down to the wire. Time! And time. 5129. <laughs> oh, I was able to squeeze out one final PB. Let's go. I got goosebumps after that. My god. That feels incredible. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the world record currently um, held by Bird, who was in ch who was in chat earlier. Um, who was in chat earlier? Um, I gotta get to the actual page. The, the, the. All right, <laughs> current world record by Bird is 49 minutes, 10 seconds. So I am only about two minutes off of Bird's world record. I'm closing the gap, but I still have a ways to go. I improved a lot. Oh, you're still in chat. I, didn't, I thought you left. I thought I glimpsed that you left. Uh, I almost, I PB'd by so much. Um, so, um, so super, um, I PB'd earlier this stream too. Um, before that, before that run, um, towards the beginning of the stream, I think it might've been even the first run I did. I PB'd from my, uh, I, my original time was 57.46 and then I got a 54 earlier, like, uh, way earlier in the stream. 
and then I put it all together. Uh, well, I didn't put it all together. I had some pretty weak early sections, and then I brought it together in a pretty, in a very good Mount Hood Meadows and a solid uh, Gotcha Glacier to take off like another two minutes. So I have improved by a solid like six minutes. That looks about right. <clears throat> but um, thank you guys for coming to the stream. Is there like a celebration I could do? Because I wanna, I wanna celebrate with my favorite with my favorite track and Necro Dancer. I want to. <laughs> There's something I can just like do really quickly in the meantime. Do a flip. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> This joke has been done by so many other people so many other times, but I'll, 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 I'll be another domino to fall in place. Wee! <laughs> I want to do like a, a hand cooler to celebrate. <laughs> that was rad. <laughs> Alright, what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll like do... What, what's a... What's a level that I could practice. Just I'll do like one practice level. I could attempt the two cycle gotcha glacier just on one of my practice files. Sure, why not? I never get to practice gotcha glacier. And clearly I have it in me. The skill is within me to do a perfect um The skill is within me. To accomplish a perfect, um, what is it? Um, the skill is within me to do a perfect, uh, Mount Hood. Um, so what I will do for now is I'll just do, like, a full run. Uh, I'll just do a full run of, of Gotcha Glacier. And just see where it takes me. This is, wait, do I, I don't have, yeah, because it's profile based. I only have my previous... My previous characters that I would that I did. Um, so let's just do one run of Gotcha Glacier from the start. All right, let's do it. Um, but I'll to make sure I time it well. Let's uh, exit. We're saving those splits. I didn't mean to wait. Didn't mean to do that. I just meant to close the splits, not to exit the entire program. Live split. There we go. All right. Um, where'd it go? Hello? There it is. All right. Let us close the splits. Just have that timer there. Uh, Henry, don't worry about him. He's fine. All right. Let's let's uh let's do this. Uh, this is my favorite song in all of gaming. I just. More than anything, I just want an excuse to listen to it. Bruh. This, I say this is my favorite, but uh, it's this and the second part as well. There's two parts to the song. And you'll, oh no. This is Memento Mori. This is Memento Mori. The final boss. Uh, the story final boss of Necro Dancer. And this is the this is phase one of the fight, and it's rad. Where I where I where I really fall in love with this is when phase two happens. Brace yourself. Oh yeah, um, just gonna... Why doesn't the grind ever work there? I swear, that's, that's just rigged. Rigged for real for real. You 
can bonk that? What the hell? We're not open yet. Uh, all right, not getting that logo. Ow. I am way behind schedule with my, um, oh god, this is a disaster. This is why we practice, to be fair. It's a very simple, it's a very, it, it's a very simple beat that just establishes the medley, or the uh, melody of the song, and where it picks up is about to be right now, when uh, second phase of the song starts playing. And in game, when you're actually fighting this final boss, um, this transition is like instantaneous. Like you, you start second phase and it immediately swaps to this tempo change and all. Oh shit. Why doesn't it work? I don't know. I, I I love how I'm saying why doesn't it work to a strategy I've to a route I've never taken before. <laughs> me play me still playing the game is more so just something for me to do while I listen to while I listen to rad music. We're not open yet. I love how like the stakes suddenly rise. So good. <laughs> anyway, uh, this this single this single segment run is not good. I don't even know which which uh, which G transfers I've done. I did ask just have lost track. More than anything, I want to see if I can get the trick that I've theorized for a while. I mean, I've, I th I mean, I say for a while. I've done it before. I have literally done it before. But this really hard trick that uh, See if I can accomplish. See if I can pull this off. I don't think I. I only think I did a super ollie. Yeah, that's not enough. <laughs> it is possible to get that grind all the way up there and be able to double up on two tasks at a time. That is the theoretical best Gotcha Glacier. If you can find a way to pull that off by grinding that thing, that thing that exists for one grind, then you can double task and save one cycle, which is kind of nutty. Um, I've never been able, I, I mean, okay, I, never? No, I've literally done it. TJ, what the hell are you talking about? All right, regardless, I, I just wanted to, I just wanted to have that play out. Thank you all for joining me on my world record grind. I have two more minutes to save over Bird by the time I come back, I almost expect that he will have raised the bar even higher. <laughs> I, I fear for this reality, but I do welcome it as well, because it's just is fun to watch this game get optimized. Um, I would raid someone, but you know what? I don't think any of y'all are European, and it's four in the goddamn morning. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. And not go at any rates. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Um, what's what's my next stream? Oh, uh, you will probably see me on Saturday on Leah's stream, where we will be continuing to play Zero Escape VLR, Virtue's Last Reward, um, and she will continue hurting my soul as she somehow finds the worst way to play that game. Um, 
the worst experience she could possibly give herself. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'll see y'all then. I will continue grinding that world record. I hope I can claim it back and continue optimizing this game. I'm, s it, I'm so happy to see it just continue getting pushed, and it's wonderful. Bye-bye.